Yeah, but your grandma was quite ahead of her time, ahead of oh. herself. So, na titiye la botri o tri ba ya bona dimbamba and all those kinds of things. <laughs> Suddenly, the guys told us, "Hey, hey, hey guys, we, we're going to use the back doors. They are here." Special branch. Yeah, your yeah, yeah, special branch was there, and then Bishop Tutu was trying to stop them. One of the guys gave him a shambok. Oh, poor old man. King King David Studio podcast. Uh, we have with us today a uh, someone I regard as a star. Uh, once we started loading a lot of different actors, we uh, his name came up quite a lot. Hori a a mashavel. Rabano na lebo bo brajir in that mufu king. Rabano na lebo jeripel amongst others. But as a gentleman, wa ku David Ten wa paisa osa mukri. And rather, okay, okay, askis. We are late, but uh, rather late than never. We have with us someone I regard very highly. He's won international awards. In that the ONC Jack is right here with us. How are you, sir? Hey, I guess all right, two hundred. I kiss up, man. Yeah, yeah. We're not counting like a party. So I feel like a spook. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> you see, those internal. Those were the days that if you learnt nothing, uh. yeah, fandag. You'd have found yourself, you know, in sort of a ditch. Oh, well, you know, you know, you had to adapt. Yeah, and yeah. that day, the day I met you, I had to be healthy. So when I fell in love, I remember my grandmother saying, "Sometimes I want to go all the time. We be perpendicular." Well, we're still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, We really found ourselves in a situation where sometimes we learnt. Uh. But you know, these guys thought maybe it is suppression. These guys thought maybe we are small or maybe not witted enough, you know, to to not to be on the same level with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, somewhere we'll catch them <laughs> because there was a time, you know, uh, I could hear my grandfather speaking to his uh, bra. Long ago, my grandfather Pella from my mother's side. Okay. Yeah. So he's he's the guy who who let Tuna looks like he's a shoemaker. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So no, and all the men said he come to be home. Leo na ma burua na atlada. Eh, but it was now, very this, good. Mas. Yes, this was now in the Eastern Cape. Uh. Yeah, and I must say, Tuna, those people worked for themselves. So now he's chatting to his bra. Urkoe mm. na ya what's up, King? Yeah, we did good, you know, by having to go to school. Re, re ba to hele ba thaka ba. Re ba nyanya malemi. Yeah, so that tomorrow rona re ba well equipped. Yeah. You see, yeah, on salprat dan fustan heleni kalangu iti abo. Then I didn't understand then, but later on, mm. yeah, to make a tour. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So it's so tali. Le time aliri. Okay, they gained a lot from that because they thought they were disciplining. Yeah, I get what I want. And then they forced the issues. Or no, yeah, you know what that? And Africans do. They must learn our language. Yes, yes. All those kinds you do. You have to learn English. You come, okay, Africans. You come. Our part as long as born up on. Yeah, in terms of Khwarawaka, you must understand. Or as long as they don't learn, yare na. To a kawate. So now we are more, more equipped than them. We can do anything with them. There's nothing they can do. About <laughs> Phoenix. Hey, 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 hey. Do, 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 where were you born? Eh, that's Jack. Hey, in the Eastern Cape. Yo, nah, hey, 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 Uh, uh, and then what you call then that gashi is is it is it still called twa twa even now no i carry in 1966 there was a road problem because uh, uh, we were forcibly removed from that now letting i'm sitting down all the time you know All the time, my wife would ask me, "Maru, I'm not going to say do it, man. Go scribe some of these things because you've got so many stories. You've walked, and you've mm. done this. You've traveled overseas. You've done all sorts of things. But you're documenting nothing. Okay, there are so many stories that one would like to tell, but." The disadvantage that I think I have is the fact that I wanted the original people 
because you see the bone of contention here where not David is uh, 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 everybody will be telling us about Sophia Town yeah everyone, everyone. Yes, mm. yes yes and everyone will be telling us about District 6 uh -huh. and then the Anakas is why but we have legitimate what you call rights our people must know a story there was a internet place of this nature for instance when I know like Alexander because I'm looking at where I was born go be known in 1950 you get me worry it looked exactly like what Alexander was and the nicest thing that they die is that from my father's side Yeah, that's where my mother was now uh, married. Elimaku. Yeah, yeah, yeah in Elimaku. Yeah. yeah, coming. Kia na pinto na because you ask the question or Eastern Cape. Kai it's in a guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, no, she came from there, yeah, but she's so to speaking. That's but why Kibu. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. They met. She was at school. She was a teacher. Blah blah blah. Okay. Like that, because the parents saka. Mm. My grand and my grandparents were also teachers. Ah. You see, so now. The mother and then old lady laro na lelo na balisa ko. Hey, na darata o posta magoko. Old lady, I have happen na then I then I go Adams College. Yo yo. Yeah, yeah. Na me and my brothers. Yeah, because pela our parents pela our teachers and all those kinds of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know how they met. Mm. You see. But now, this now on my father's side, the sudden I get blele laga tua tua so then I go pinoni. A lot of things happened, man. A lot of things happened there, and my grandmother, who is my father's old lady, yeah, Ronaki Kokowari in Apel, and uh, hey, she was okay because I think she had bought more than five, if not six stands, mm. and uh, all of them. Hope Lord, don't you know those places used to belong to to the white guys yeah. at some stage. But in Elia, Tok Tok Mang Mang, okay, big houses, those big. I know, yes, yeah, yes. and then Nali the room. You still so, find them in a lot of townships, those old houses. Yes. Yeah, so Makoko bought. Mm. She started, yeah. and then I, I, I remember one time she she recalled the situation that her first stand at number 74 10th Street, where I was born. She bought it got 17 shillings. <laughs> yeah. That was British money then. Was, it just, Elizabeth. A, was it just a stand or there was a structure in, in when she bought it? No, no, no. no it was, there was a structure. Yeah. yeah, they were ready there with rooms at the back. <laughs> she bought the whole of that. 30 shillings. And, well, 30 <laughs> shillings, 17 shillings. Wow. And uh, it, then, uh, the funniest thing is that I could not fathom why Rona at that stage we had electricity. Mm. <laughs> she was very clever. She knew that if you mm. then you'd be able to tell Maspal or about electricity. Yes. <laughs> and now she made money because normally a lot of people were never renting And then she bought another one and then another one. And then another, this is not your mother. This is your grandmother. This is my grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, yes, she four or five of them mm. stands it say, and each of every one of their children mm. lived in the main houses. Okay, my dad included. Okay, you see, so Gilu so, Naso, oh, yeah, Kiri, yeah. Now, yeah, me and my big brothers and my late sister, and mm. yeah, so mm. living with them, and then come on, Raho Kamole Hotlezi in Tuenaba, Bahir, Bahir, da <laughs> Makoko, every end of the month, you see her walking from 10th Street, mm. yeah, number 74, 10th Street. So it's all a quite fedi, all at the yes, and a Banabaha. <laughs> They should know mm. that when she's here, the boss is back. Yo, yo. The boss has arrived. So, <laughs> yeah, she worked for it. <laughs> oh, now, now that number 74. Oh, now, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that is the original, the one that sure. I'm not talking to me, but talking to others. What mm. is 17 shillings? <laughs> yeah. 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 She was very business minded. I'm I'm surprised so early on and at a time when there were no opportunities really for Daki to be in yes, business yes. and she she cause property is big business. <laughs> well it looks other it looks like when David when you look at this thing, some people were born for that. Yeah. Yeah. Other people were born ready to take over. Yeah. Because they believed, I think, so much in whatever their brains would sort of give back. Mm. And then they would think about it business-wise. Mm. Because, yeah, now, 
all I know about her is that she did uh, the washings for the internet. I, I get on that and the side, the vast who they go into. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Walking more than 10 to 15 kilometers. Yeah. And then you take it back the next day. It's a long way. But when you earn, yeah. 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 She was, she was, she was, oh, yes. Oh, yes. But ask me what happened when we were moved. Actually, the moving, or actually, more the, the place itself, what type of environment was it for some people to think it was worth it, it, taking you taking it from Botaki? What, 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 what type of area was to at the time? Well, you see, as you, as you look at uh, Alexander, mm. okay, there was Indians, Okay, there's colored people. So we were mixed races. Mm. But they were also Lebon and Ebadula in their areas. Okay. So now we occupied the majority mm. of the Gasi. You see, what I like about it is that each time I get to, to the police station, I always tell these youngsters, I get, I get, I get, I get, I get, I and I was on her back and I think I was a baby, but I was told the story. Mm. So this thing, it means in early history. Then now, my father, the boss station commander, bar, hey, when I was young, Roba, la, uli, li, siya, gabi, kere. Yeah, my boy, pala, nasa, chamiki, that time. Apparently, my old lady intervened with the fact that Matswale could not be arrested because I kere, pala, it's ever slim. Yes. So and all those kinds of things. <laughs> so customers in it la pela play kill. So ten street. So never mtiba. Oh yes. Indians, colored, dark alleys, leba kawumala with the rest of them. Never let you know little tamale ne really be some kirima nida. Kirima na ukom unaber unaber ka country na kuto na kusam hotel. No, I mean, because this is how they were referred to people from Malawi. Okay, like, yes, okay. Or, yeah. But one day I remember a friend of mine telling me a story. <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you know why? No, 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 I don't understand. Yeah, because they work in hotels. They used to wear white shirts. Mm. So now walking from Kolke Chining, Hoyako Hotel, Tropong, and then you come with your dirty, your car, yet a dust, traveling. Yeah, man, I'm a clean man, man. Mm. But, I'm a clean man. But Bona now they could not pronounce this R. Oh. But, yeah, I'm a Kiriman, man. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's. Yeah, this, yeah, this is. This, no, I always wash, man. I'm a yeah, I'm a green man, man. I'm a green man. <laughs> so yeah. then, then they became a green man. And then they became a green man because every one of them, Rabbi, identifies. Nangum green man. Yes. Nangum green man. Do you know something interesting with your story is that it, Sapphire Town has exactly the same history of oh yes of a multiracial setup. Oh yeah, yeah. that was broken up. Oh yes. uh, by yeah. Mabur. Oh yes, yes, they did because if. If my memory serves me well, I understand even Lee and Apra as I'm looking at the picture there. <laughs> Apparently, he came from there. Mm. Yes. And uh, I know for the fact that Barely, the late Praju, Yuma Sikela, also came from Kotwa from, 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 I think they had bras. Okay. Because Pella, this business, it, it's been there for some time. You had mm. the musicians and all that. So I think in places like those, you would find a lot of good musicians. Yeah, yeah. so, And then you'd find the good of sports. Sport mm -hmm. became something. Mm -hmm. No, Zim of course, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. So it, it is sport. It, it used to be called sport. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. See, yeah. Utole you only play jazz. Mm -hmm. You see. So now it was occupied by by a by a by and slim men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people would come there. Babang battle, the battle check. You see, and all that. Kauka pele or bar lebo auslet. Pele to. Ne fito nada. Yeah, ba kila battle kana kona 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 da di te di khrut. Money. Uh, yes, yeah, wow. it was, yeah. No, because because what what stands out for me about these stories is what blacks were removed, 
townships were destroyed and new ones were built. Oh, yes. So what was built in the place of Twatwa? Hey, today the place is called Actonville. Hmm. Yes. It sounds better. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> and we were removed there to be taken more than 18 kilometers away to Davidton. Yo. You see? So that's when was, Davidton was built. Oh, yeah. chan chan. No, no, no. It was not. In, it, it was it was there when we okay. got there. Runa, it was, I think we were removed from Deca in 1966. Mm. Yeah, it was it was very, very painful because wow. we had to drop out of school, some of us. Mm. Because now of the transport problems of coming back, because yeah. it's more than 18 kilometers. Now it's in the middle of the year. It's towards the exams. I think I was doing standard six then. Yeah. Yeah. So one had to drop out. But lucky enough, the principal and every international school teachers knew the performance yaga in that class. Okay. So I, I had to be condoned or Kiego secondary. It was no saying Nazi Jack is one of the clever boys. Let's give him a second class pass. I remember the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Because, yeah, he, he's okay. He couldn't come to come and complete the exams and all those kinds of things because of what you call the train system and all that. But Shaba can't go for land too because there's no money to to travel from there to mm. back to school. So, yeah. So, Twata was completely destroyed. It was. Like, flattened everybody out. Oh, yes. And the uh, Tayada. Oh, yes. When, when you got to Davidton, did, oh, my did you find houses ready or oh, what was the they, setup? They were there, hollow houses, eh? Four-roomed to think that we come from more than eight rooms, nine oh. rooms house. And then there you find yourself in this small house there, four-roomed, and all of them looking alike, mm. you know, with no fences. You just got your address. That's it. And you had to go and look for it. I get what I born into Makoko and all that. You see, it was very, very painful. So in the nutshell, that is what actually I was looking forward to, to sort of sit down and really relate to the story. Yeah. Because it's, it has become a political, uh, and it's, it's very much you know, politicized in mm. the sense, Yaori, because I live there now, mm. it's predominantly colored and Indian. Okay. Now there are those that feel that uh, uh, duckies were not supposed to be there. They still feel that way. Okay, yes. So many years later. Yeah, and I say to myself and I tell them, because I guess straightforward, mm, mm. I tell them, me brur keiki so. You see, in Ekvas Yihapore, my umbilical cord was buried here at yeah. number 74, 10th Street. Mm, mm. This was 10th Street. You see, the clinic, that place there used to be our church. In LA, mm. Because we also had a square. I don't know, there was this thing about the Kasitse and they looked very much like you were somewhere in Europe. Mm. It was not only the square, open spaces where you would find taxis and buses. Okay. Yeah. But going, the, the bus needed such any kamu di trating. Okay. But you'd go to the square to go and get the bus in, in order to get to town. Oh, okay. So my dad happened to be one of those people that were the first drivers. Is it? At the time, yeah, of, yeah. of those municipality buses. At the time, they were, I think, in any privilege <laughs> because the old lady in Elitsi Biwada, because she was one of the top, what you call top brass. Mm. You you know, do you know, I'm, I'm wondering about the effect that it had on old lady who was such a dynamic business person oh, yes. and had to be removed from her business, My basically. Goodness me. David asked me who feel Mutele had it. With the stands. Did, Did they buy the stands from them? or one or they, they just look. offered. They offered all the... The last time I heard about it was, I think they were offered something like each person by Bam Kranko standing, they would give them 50,000. Mm. Uh, it was a rent. It was just after the British had left, ah. blah, blah, blah. And then the money was changed into rents. Into rents, yeah. So that, I think, broke my grandmother. Sure. Yeah, because she knows for the fact that if it was bought fairly, she would have made millions. A lot more. Not yeah, not 50,000. Yeah. So that alone, you know, lived this indelible mark, you know, in mm. our memories. What you know? 
it's very funny that stories are told, but you never you never hear about Bobby Noni. Mm-hmm. So this is why I wanted to bring to bring it up. Yeah, you see, yeah. Because the Pinoni has a similar story to oh, Sofia course. Town y- yes. and District Six and even, all of that. Even Leba Leba Kopragban, Kopragban, because I know part of internet there was a place called Tikato or something of that nature. Yeah, my that was Pragban. Leba or not, they were moved, forcibly removed from that space mm. to go. 20, 25 kilometers far away from ah. where they were. To where? To Butsakani. 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 Newly built houses in Tenetama Spala and then Omulo Mungo in an analysis space. Yeah, that mm. one tena would be given a house. Allo Dula da. Even if it was 20 rooms, it doesn't matter. Yes. That play, Elehan rent patal. It's all. Wow. So now you broke a lot of hearts. No, of course. Yeah, you broke a lot of hearts as the system there. But then we got used to that to that effect because we knew that it looks like Rona Pella were people that did not matter. No, not at all. Yes. And you recognize very early that in the story of, of a South Africa, blacks were, as a young person, oh, yes. were you conscious of this imbalance that early in your life? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because at one stage, there was something that I never, ever would ever forget. Mm. Yeah. It's uh, because I get my cocoa used to brew. Yeah. So now she was caught red-handed, apparently. Because, because it was illegal. Oh, 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 yeah, it was illegal yeah. at the time. But now she's caught red-handed because there are customers sitting already. Mm-hmm. Both Indian and colored and yeah. dark is sitting there. Mm-hmm. Because now she's the owner. And then she has to be arrested. And then cops just said, we're taking her. Let's go now. What and really, you saw this? I saw this. I I came. I came from the shops. Yeah, from from the Fifth Avenue, going straight down into Nadlading. Then I could see this group of men, and I saw this Magogo walking up. Magogo yeah. and people are talking. Oh, Banchi, you and I'm trying to go match this. Yo, eh, we're in front of and it, eh, and it, I'm. We're mixed up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that alone broke me because I knew that my friends were going to be saying a lot of things because she was very popular in the township. Yeah, she was one of the people that really made it. Yeah. And everybody knew, oh, hey, Mama Chidiso, pa. Mama Chiso, by the way, is my friend and my, my father's elder sister ah, okay. yeah, the first born Goma Koko. okay so that's why she was called Mama, Mama Chidiso yes. because of uh, the, yeah Matidiso. yes, yes yeah. Yeah. Mama so she was known or she, she's one of the people that have succeeded huh. blah blah, blah. Yes. so I swear we are in yeah, yeah. so people would be saying things such as those and then you fell out of place man what mm. would so I remember because my old lady said one time when she was still a fresh Makoti mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> by the way my mama Iris. Okay. Yeah, she she volunteered. She volunteered. Mm. Yeah, to take the space of Matswale Wahai to go into 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 a cell until she really yes to go and sleep there. Now and they allowed this. Oh, oh yes, they took her, but she had a baby. That baby happened to be Leba King Owen <laughs> Yeah. You're a jailbird. <laughs> You were in jail I, long before. Yes, <laughs> before I even knew, man, yes. when I was in jail. <laughs> yeah, and when I saw it for real, I said, hey, by the way, my old lady at one stage, I think that's where I, I entered, 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 acquired into a bronchitis. Because later on in my life, I actually diagnosed like a doctor. Mm. I was just told, or, ah, no, oh, and you've got bronchitis, you know, blah, blah. It's not something bad. You don't have that. <laughs> you don't have. But, but you have this one. Yeah, this one. I get what I want. It's Eesh. a high cough, man. That, <laughs> yeah, that mustn't worry you. You'll just take medicine and blah, blah, and all You'll be okay. Yeah, it's bronchitis. And I said, okay, fine. Jeez. Yeah. So, so the story of you being in jail as a young child, <laughs> what does it do to an older version of uh, Owen Sijaki who says, hey, man, I, 
nangile ga tronko ngsan well i tell this to my wife it's very funny i tell her all the time kere hey man you know there's one thing that remains indelible in my in my mind are king kere i can't seem to forget the fact that my mother had me in jail i'm trying to picture the darkness you see of sleeping in a cell but now it means i must commend my mother for the fact that she sacrificed herself and me mm, not only herself on behalf, you yeah, as yeah, well she sacrificed even me on behalf of her mother about to mthena matswale wa hayi or bakeng etswe mahlo nkang na because i'm the younger version and then na ke tla lo bona magistrate the following morning we slept there so yes. you go to court and then you pay the fines it's interesting how the law allowed that or take me instead yes and uh, uh, mama mama zala atwe and i'll take yeah, that yeah, place yeah. it's such an unusual yeah, uh, circumstance because yes, yes. today you commit a crime you are the one that pays for it oh oh, oh yes <laughs> nobody yeah. else oh yes yeah. but i understand that there are some ways to make other well, of people course. maybe allow open detail all those kind <laughs> of things ga uta ba ma jita di etsa ntho tse e mar your grandma was quite ahead of her time i heard oh. of herself I think so. I think so. Yeah, because really every, every time I look at the the the, the flats in Actonville, I constantly get this thing where Kiri, hey, by the way, Jevitek was here for. Yeah, and I see lots of it's high 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 buildings and blah, 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 <laughs> seeing these people, you know, saying maybe Botaki, maybe and then about what's on Lori Elemoda as it is a black and all that. Rio Patek is original. From here. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so when I got my space down the road there, so even my neighbors Some of them don't like me for the fact mm. that eh, extend for my kenners. Yeah. Eh, I really fight for my family because Makoko used to fight for her family. Mm. And my mother, eh, na sabati next year. So I thought no 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 no. I have to to not to be part and parcel of this and uh, guys I don't think I like it and no, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's the long and the short of that. Yeah, so yeah. It's a uh, It's a very interesting kind of situation and scenario or why mm. why wouldn't the story up you know ni guess in tena guess buyi wele sono kodwa there was this kashi that disappeared yes it just disappeared from the face of the earth What? you see and then you find the people that were in tena were inheritors born not thinking no it is leave it on earth yes. and then you feel spade and then from uh, after some time and then then about now they they feel or yeah they got man di 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 topi it's our own sneak and about it sorry it's a race did can't you know about it a story here yeah kiri kiri di deng di hey they it may hard hard break me like you just start never to fight play key so jeez did you do you have siblings says uh, uh, when, when when who who are your siblings my late sister yeah but, uh, re four jeez okay yeah. so my f- first born brother kintena ke sello yeah and then followed the puo yeah julia julia she's the one that had passed on i think about two years ago oh that yeah. recently eh yes yeah. and then and then came buti mm. yeah and neville and then came me You were the last in line. Yeah. Were you the last in line? Yes. Yes. <laughs> were you treated yes. like the last in line? I don't know. I I can tell you I, should, you, I don't I can tell you you were not. You 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 started in jail. You were not <laughs> there was nothing special about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but uh, I feel <laughs> sometimes we have to learn. Mm. You see I often hear and I heard my old lady talking about you see when you make it in life there is a saying that goes that in order to reach your destination you've got to negotiate through the bush mm-hmm. as long mm-hmm. as you don't change your mind <laughs> while you're in the bush yes while you're in the <laughs> bush know the direction go for it mm-hmm. and then reach your destination you've made it mm-hmm. you see wow. so that's why I hear, I decided that okay despite all these things they exciting you know in the background and all that as we were growing up and I said now something has to happen mm-hmm. something has to happen by the way it's not only mama chidiso mm. even from my mother's side 
even from my mother's side, because yeah, yeah fr from my mother's side, the grandmother, the, my grandmother and my grandfather, they as Neku Vesakirki, so he was a shoemaker. Yes, yes. And he used to make these shoes, Adi Kenyadi sticker soles and all those kinds of things, or that hmm. change sort of thing, especially the police. That, yeah, okay. You know, come to him. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> yeah, so he had a workshop. Libon, they had a plot. Mm -hmm. So because that's where I started to go to school in Aliwal North. Yeah. yeah. So they had a plot. It was a huge unit with a huge space. <laughs> they, they, they maze was what you call grown dead. Every, every kind of vegetable that you'd come across, mm. even the apple, the periki, the fei, and everything. Chicken. I used to feed, yes. you know, to, yeah, to feed chickens. It was, yeah, me and my cousins. Mm. Yeah, we would, we would have tens, you know, to, to go and feed the chickens. You see, yeah. So it is. Wait, was it in the same neighborhood as as? Uh, no, 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 no. There, there, there were somewhere in a place called uh, Saint Peter's, I think, mm. in in the in, in, at the end of town. Okay, Alwal North. Yeah. And then, as you walked down, or maybe drove down, you walk all the way, and then that's when. Because I remember there were there was a, a, a family of uh, uh, Africaners living almost opposite uh, 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 us mm -hmm. there in, in Alwal North. And then I remember there was an Indian shop opposite us. Mm -hmm. And then right up the road, there was a place called Krimari. Okay, what happens there? Yeah, cream, they dealt with milk. Okay. It was a huge, what you call, factory. Mm. Milk and all that. So my grandfather was very popular and my mm. grandmother. And then just behind the creamery was a church, uh, Methodist. Probably still there. I hope it's still there. Because <laughs> Probably had, still there. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I don't mm. know because I've never been to Alwal North ever since I left after yeah. my grandmother died. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how the place looks like now, but sometimes I really would like to sit down and relate these stories. It's it's, a, it's an interesting story of uh, two families who came together, and both of them had their own, you know, their own things going and oh, going oh, yes. really successfully during that time. Yes, yeah. yes, it was very funny because, yeah, even from my mother's side, there were those kinds of people, but now. Matala, like, yeah, now nearly enough connection. Mm. <laughs> so Matala had connections. Sometimes I would go with my elder brothers. Ratsama area into Nariko Krima Ring because there was Briya High working there. I, for the milk, yes. Yes, for the milk and cheese. Ah, of course. Imagine, you know, into the describe, into the describe study cheese. And then the ribbits are my rap. You find us having big, big stacks, man. <laughs> well, hey, me and my cousins, you know, I'm coming. I know. I'm going to know. Yeah, all those kinds of things. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And then when they play back in your mind, you ask yourself, Libona, apparently, mm -hmm. after the death of uh, the old lady, apparently the grandfather left alone now because my mother had to fetch me to come back oh, to yes. Johannesburg now. And my elder brother and sister Libona had to trek back mm. to Benoni. And then apparently they were removed hmm. from that to where? To Zueli. How much? Right up outside. Removed from that you got to, yes. beautiful setup. Oh my goodness. I used to love sure. that house. I tell you. Mabu, mabu, cruel, eh? Oh yes, yes. It's like they were saying, no. You can't have this good thing. Oh, oh, oh yes, yeah. you can't. You belong into some shack. Mm. Somewhere, a small house that I can give you that I think maybe you deserve to live in. But not this. Yes. Even wow. the neighborhood. The neighborhoods there, I mean, we used to be a few meters away from a place called Kikrimarikam, and then there was Bokomo. Mm -hmm. Do you see Bokomo? It's, it's still there. I think it's still yeah. there. It was a factory in Oh, yeah, Yabu. Bokomo, Yabu, yeah, Bi, and all yeah, of Yabu. that. Yeah, they yeah. do many other things yes. as well. So yeah. Bokomo there, never grind. It was a big factory. You see, and then we could walk to town because we're right in the at the beginning, walking up. 
Yeah, to town. When little old lady, little one, I nearly said the washing. So my big brothers, even our cousins, nearly born and never got roll up. Oh, I'm roll up. I'm roll up. You say, hey, can I change little change? Little shako mang mang, quite 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 quite. And then we'd go there, and then not a bad thing. We excited. <laughs> You're going to town. Yeah, that's not really into our nappel. We're going to town. You know, we're going to town. That's it. Come on, I'm a hoa. Yeah. Do you know something that stands out about about your your family? And I pick up as you're talking. There were a lot of English names, including yours, of course. Well, yes, yes. You must remember, David Pella. That time, I think, nearly the influence in nearly both Queen Elizabeth mm. was British. I realized British that. British colony. Yes. So I remember, and then I'm, I'm, then I'm saying to my mother, uh, but. Oh, and what is that? Mm. <laughs> Now let me teach you. I will teach you history. We are born about Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth, and all that. Kiba naba babu reigning. So now there is a place called Wales in 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 England. Yeah, so that place there, Barkima Scottish. Yeah. So now there's a flower that was called Owen. Mm. So it's an English name. <laughs> It means some flower there. So now I had to because I work for a doctor. Okay. Now she had given up teaching. Now she was working for some guy who was a doctor who mm. also came from from England. Okay. So yeah, I can't feel it. I didn't know. I didn't know. What is the meaning of this? Because I remember my. My firstborn brother, Gisello, and then Gis Henry. Yes, I pick it up for the English names. Yeah, and then my sister, Gis Dipuo, Gis Julia. Ah, <laughs> yeah. and then the brother again, Tenike Mo, Tenike Mo, Tenike Mo, Slasha Mang, Gis Buti Neville. Utrafe. Yeah. In the little Yes. You see, all those names. I get it. Those were the names when you came to school. You see, uh, David. It was. It was. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Never you ever fell in the little posture. What? Mm. Perpendicular. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about perpendicular. And and then how buwa? How buwa the the limsuwa? How your teacher? I am Owen Sejake. Yeah. My middle name is Lebaking. All those kinds of things. Kori, register your thing. Kori, you've got to make sure that you're there. Yeah. You see, yeah. Uskaba mshanyana. Hmm. Uskaba ntoa nanji. Yeah. Because I remember we were also wolf cups at some stage. Yeah. Wolf cups. Let's join the into the boy scout. Boy scout. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you've yes. done that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you see, all those kinds of things we do. We used to participate. It's like concerts. Mm, mm. At the time I remember my late sister and may her soul rest in peace. I was the she, she she used to be the best soprano in the, in the choir kuntena ko school and kerebona the way. Yeah, Ronanda Lemo di Junior. Mm. Start I was up A sub B just starting to go to school. So we would go to concerts. They arrange it twenty Yeah, yeah, into the scale. Yeah, the scale. Re go along and then go and watch school in the concerts. Which is something that is very scarce today. You mm. can never hear of that. No, no, no. It doesn't happen as often as it used to. There's attempts to it, but it's it's not as often as it used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was amazing, you know, because we we used to go there and listen and be infatuated and mm. then be influenced. Yeah. The funniest thing is. I have a son called Enoch. Mm, he's mm. seated right there. Mm, he's not far from here. He's not far from <laughs> here. Enoch. The mother tells me one day, you know, we are going to a concert, and I say, no, I'll remain in. But it's ang are are no. Uh, uko kwaying pela mutu. Ali nakibat lam mo na kapikir. Hey, I shook. And I began to tremble, and I said, does this guy sing? Yeah. So, but then one day he says to me, yeah, there were auditions, ba. You know, there were auditions there at school, and so I passed. And so I went and I was incorporated into the choir. Mm -hmm. And then when the mother came back and told me, says, "Hey, it's really a pearl. I'm not sure why we never." Karina, eh? 
Out of God. God, we get, oh, okay. I, I guess. Okay. But, but why were you right. this surprised? Is it something that you you, you haven't I, I didn't encouraged. expect it to be that yes. because he was a robust. He's a robust. He was a robust, very, very spoiled kind of bread. Mm, mm. Do you know a bread? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Nekimona Limutobi Ale. Soccer and all okay. those kinds of things. Not arts. Not not there. Yeah. I really didn't look at him to be to be singing at school. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you were you were you surprised? But is, was there a part of you that was also proud of this unexpected reality? Well, I wasn't that surprised because mm. uh, I thought maybe it's in the genes. I thought so. I thought, nah, <laughs> it's in the genes, okay. But hey, he must understand one thing. Hey, it's difficult in this business. Yeah. You've got to know what you're doing. But I'm very proud of the fact that at least when he started singing, the school that he was at, mm. they were taught how to read. Oh, music. really? Okay. Yes, yeah. which is very scarce these days. They were taught to read music and notes, which is something that we did later on. Mm, right in the beginning. Because I used to love to sing at school. Mm. I know you, you participated in a musical, and I think oh, uh, there's yes, an award yes. that goes with that musical as well. Yeah, yeah, bon bon train bo 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 ipinto mi. Yeah, bo ipinto mi. Yeah, bo once on this island yeah. where the difficulty there was the fact that Dialogue that thing was done in operatic. Mm -hmm. So you had to sing. <laughs> you, had to sing. You, you sang. And the funniest thing, David, is that there's a band live. You. And the mic, you are on your own when you are on that stage. Mm -hmm. If wapaisa, you. Hey, the conductor, I about to low level. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just give you that look because mm. they're, they're, they're just mm. the stage. Yeah. Mm. They are looking at you. They are a classical group. Yeah. They're looking at the score. And it as the button goes up, the baton are. Yeah. Then the song then it starts dialogue getting singing. That was difficult. It I must, was difficult. I, 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 must, I must tell you, listening to your story, it's amazing how you made it in such environments that you're describing now yes, you know yes. singing in, in this big musical with yes. such a with an opera and all, and everything that comes with it yes <laughs> apparently it's a it's a internet it, it comes from overseas somewhere it's it was derived from some island it spoke about that island I think somewhere in Jamaica some, yeah. somebody that wrote that kind of score came from those kinds of places. So it was it was done. There was synthesizers and all. <laughs> but may her soul rest in peace. Uh, Kumalo. She, she played my partner. Oh, really? She played my partner. And was your singing is really serious? It was amazing. I couldn't believe it because uh, when we sang and I had a duet with her and then at one stage during the ceremony Yadi Awards, here in Johannesburg, what is this theatre? I go into Nemo Bramfontein. The Johannesburg, the, yeah, theater, the, the Nelson yes, Mandela Theatre. Yes. yes. That theatre there, we were asked to come and sing. And then our pianist, the, the band conductor and the leader, was the one that was backing us with his piano. And I went on that stage with her. Sbongile was a very reputable classical singer. And I dared not go out of tune. <laughs> I dared. You would have gotten that look again. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah but I went on. Wow. I went on. And when everybody stood, stood up and gave us the... Mm, a standing leave, ovation. Sorry. But now you know what my wife says. She says, no, they should have stood up because you've done it from the beginning up until the end in a show they didn't see you there yeah and another important aspect was that my agent mm. may her soul rest in peace to Munin Lee she came in, in, at our opening night at what you call at the playhouse in mm. Durban that's where they, in the once on this island opened and she came and then she says ah darling I didn't know you had such sweet voice, Turner. Oh, and <laughs> this is amazing. You're not just an actor. You are everything. Yeah. And then may bra, may his soul rest in peace, Ramlao Machene. Mm -mm. He says, Owen, you know me, bro. 
you're doing something that I would never do. <laughs> you're singing an opera. Sure. How does it feel? Hey, you know the hibijibis just stage. We get stomach cramps and all those kinds of mm. things, but you dared not because you were trained to do that. Carry on. Oh, yes. Whatever happens, you cannot. Or, sorry. No, 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 no. No, you can't. Yeah, you're on yeah. stage. In order to, sorry, sorry. Yes, I remember <laughs> one director saying, you must remember when people sit there and you bore them, mm -hmm. you must remember they paid more than 40 rands mm -hmm. to watch you. And because you are doing something that they cannot do, you must make sure that you you prove that. That, them, that they are right. There's no way they, they, <laughs> they are can't right. do it. And there's no way you can do this, what, mm. what I'm doing. That's why you are paying to watch me. Wow. That's one thing about theater that I loved. I, I want to go back to, to you before this incredible world that you end up in of theater <laughs> singing alongside Buswongile Kumalo, appearing oh, with yes. Ipintombi and many other, yes. other shows and awards yes. that you won. Yes. That young boy... Uh, who now moves to uh, Davidton? What what aspirations does he have, and what what environment encourages uh, what we see today? It was amazing. It was an, it was an amazing journey because when it started, it started from Pinoni Ketwatwa. That was, I think, before we left. Friends hanging about in the corner shops mm. in, in the Okasi. Yeah. So there was this guy that uh, uh, played a guitar. A tea, an oil and tea. This, yeah. this guy, Makalani, had a, 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 the real guitar okay. given by his timer. Wow. You see, he had a real string with real strings, mm. guitar and all that. He played it. So now this thing says to me, Every now and then we get there and a refitari plome, and then this guy plays, and then another one joins him. Mm -hmm. And then I decided that ah, Marlena joins him at And I said, yeah, I've never the finger ring, Tito. Yeah, I've never got the finger ring. I was I love Angel and don't just strum and yeah, I've never got the finger ring. So that's where it started from the Okasi. Hmm. Now, fast forward to when we moved to Davidton. When we moved to Davidton, uh, I had a guitar. Now you have your own. Now, mm. yes. Now I know what's happening. I've got to buy the strings mm. in the record shops. Bars, the, the fifth bar, the what's called the second bars, yeah. and, and all those kinds of things, six, six of them. Mm -hmm. Now, a friend of mine says, uh, look, man, if you want to learn real, real fingering about the guitar, mm. you have to get a book. Okay. <laughs> that book, you, you get it, go, go to CNA. Mm. It's called Alfred's Fingering Course. Okay. I'm telling you, David, I went. And bought it. And I bought this book. And I could see the fingers, the, the B-flat, mm. sharp, this and that. I used to see it Every now and then, <laughs> you know, to strum this, looking at the book Jeez. until I could play Kukuruku Kuku. Kukuruku Ding 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 Kukuruku Paloma. <laughs> it was done by some guy, I think, in Tina from Brazil. Yeah, that was one of the popular songs. So one day somebody says to me, Hey, as we're hanging about, now we are in Davidton. Mm, mm. Now he says to me, Hey, man, my bro. That's what you call it, chopping for the and I get it now. Okay, what? I reckon now. He shows me the world, the world that is the former Sowetan. Okay, the yeah, newspaper. Yeah, yeah. He, says, he shows me these guys, models wearing suits and all that. Yes, man, they say they're going to interview people there. Nale Tetile. Yeah, it is in, in this place in Johannesburg. So, 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 Elof Street. Mm. Now I then I know Johannesburg. It clicks and then what you call this thing. Or oh, I know Johannesburg. Now I want to go there because they say they're they are offering the training. Okay. Yeah, for modeling. Hey, you're thinking other things now. Now, 
So man je makes je be yeah no no no. Yeah I have to fina ku ting train ne man nge nge thanda le job ela ma chita. Man je ntoza say sales house and all those kind of things. Yeah so kere na okay. Now kere when you know what I think I want to go with you. Mm. Okay okay fine 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 fine. Okay kere no I know where Edof Street is. Yeah. Yeah double up mo Edof Street na mo mo Hook Street and then we'll tanda kena ka Tivilias from there there's Edof Street and then we'll find the address and then go there. Hey Robert the best internet that we can get. Yeah. Comes the date. Hey I guess we this taxi first train 4 o'clock. We made an appointment. Ah, it doesn't show up. Five o'clock. Hey, my God. Ah, Karen, uh, and the appointment there is about half past eight. They are starting with their interviews. Six o'clock, Karen. No, I don't think Max is coming. Sorry, train. Only one. Only one. Yeah. Alone. And I go, and I go to Johannesburg Station. <laughs> What is this address? Up the steps. It's an old building. What was it called? The internet there was a funny name, Sex Cats. Okay. <laughs> yes. And, and now the funniest thing is when I walked in, I could feel the ambience of some international state status here. Because I could see all all these people that are around here are people that you see only in the newspaper. Mm, mm. There was no TV only, then. There was no TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at these people and then We ask uh, where are we supposed to be seated for then when we came for audition mm. for, not dishonored audition uh, for It's modeling appointment yeah uh, oh, okay yeah, now now we can sit here and what about these ladies <laughs> the late bubbles and pondo <laughs> we're sitting down there now just before i went in there was this guy kamuhona mm. and then this one goes in But and then there comes an old man. Mm, This mm. old man comes in and he says, eh, what, "What are you doing here?" Mm. Uh, no, I came for an interview, sir. <laughs> he says, "Oh, came for an interview? No, but this doesn't suit you. Come here." You haven't even started. Yeah, I haven't even been interviewed. Yes. He says, come here, come here. And then he says, where now? And then this one talks. Mm -hmm. And then he says, come, come with me. As we go down the stairs, but we are going to be late for the appointment. And now I don't worry, I've got something, I've got something better for you. Come, I'm taking you to another studio. You know, yeah. young man, his name was Charles Mkunu. Yeah. He, <laughs> he, was, he was one of the models. Yes. He was sleek, very sleek. Mm. Huge. He nailed can I go tell it. But he said, me real cool. Yes. Yeah. He said, I'm going to go to the studio and go to the studio and go to some place called Lame Street in Hillbrow. So it's really completely from that one. Yes, yes. Now, It's a new venture. Now. And 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 you're believing in this this man. You just believe it because well, he's so smart. Oh, okay. The way he's dressed up. Yeah. You can see that this guy who just hell at the man. <laughs> we want to be like him. Yeah, yeah we want to be <laughs> like him. This guy says he's giving us something better than what we're going to do there because we don't suit that. Yeah. Then he says to me, "Listen, I think I want to put you into acting." You see, they, 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 there's going to be a job that's going to happen. I'm taking you here. And then as we walk into that office, hey, there's a huge chair on the issue. We look and then it spins. He says, Daddy, I'm here. <laughs> this Jewish guy sits there. Mm. He sits there says, Hi, Charles, with a cigar. <laughs> Are you sure you got the guys, eh? It's a scene from a movie. Oh my God. <laughs> and then we're just standing there. It's a, it's a Charles Ari. Yeah, yeah. We used to call him Sir Charles for mm. one thing. Yeah. Why we called him Sir Charles? Because there was a, a jazz pianist in the Mamita Sir Charles. Yes. So we called him that. And then uh, Sir Charles says, yeah, yeah, and, 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 and I've got some of the guys for the extras in that French movie, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just take down their names. They, they are, okay, okay. Get them into so and so's office that side, and then can get mm. them. Tell them to be here six o'clock sharp eh, in the morning. <laughs> hey, Ram, why do you some more ONC jacket? Now I'm thinking, and with Viet Rechan, you're and still holding on to that other one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, well, uh, yeah, um, yeah. I can now. I've got something tangible here. Yes. This is 
Good man, you will kill our Owen, a bird in hand is worth two in the bush. That's it. Now, now <laughs> I've got it. A bird in hand. Yes, I can't. I can't discard it. And no say, way. Because I'm going to the bush, I'll catch more. Uh. What if I don't? Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. So okay, Kirna. Okay, I'm coming back here because they say they are shooting a movie, and we are one of them. I'm one of the extras, and here's this Brahmi music. Man, you know what I'm saying? Hi, men ang say tube so 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 so. Manja when rains and jan get hey, friend would get David to an endot and a good good. Kilmar, no man, I've just remembered my only internam to my only these what you call internet, what you call where living comes in club. Okay, so I went there. Oh, no, go go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was early in the afternoons. I went there. Hey, man, you know, tomorrow morning I have to be much one is back at six o'clock. Yeah, so now uh, there's no way that I can go back because it will mean that that train can be late. I have to be there, and then from there we're going to be transported to Johannesburg our Hotel. Jeez. From there to this place, Moba Shutang the movie. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be earning sixty rands. That Whoa. was a lot of money. Just Excellent. like that. It was an international movie. Uh. By the way, that that movie I think. Uh, in, in a star, some some guy who came from from France, Eddie Constantine. To cut a long story short, woke up in the morning into the train. This is a shorter distance now. Oh yeah, yeah it's a shorter <laughs> distance. Yeah. yeah, and then I meet Oganza, mm. my friend now. And then he went with me. I'm like, hey, in the morning, <laughs> fast train mm. from Naledi. Yeah. Now we're going to Johannesburg. <laughs> Then from there we look at this to go for this place. And then we go where we were, and then we are taken straight to to Johannes mm, Hotel. Mm. And then I still there, remember Johannes Beggar Hotel. Yes, yes, yes Johannes Beggar Hotel. <laughs> yeah. And uh, once while seated there, a shock of my life. Uh. Was like this tall, huge guy with a clean shaven head? I've seen this guy in Dingaka, a movie. Let me guess, Kenny Gambo. Ken Gambo. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> That's why you see Owen with this. That's because of him. Wow. Yes, yes. He, he advised me to do uh. that. Yes. Well, I see this guy. He's wearing but in, in the garb. They're yeah, the generals. He's playing those parts. Jeez. Yeah. So now they are, they are taking them first and then they were sleeping in that hotel called Johannesburg. Mm. So they are taking them to set. So <laughs> and then we go, we are going to He was a first. star already. Oh, he was then. a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. <laughs> he was a star. Now, during lunch, I'm seeing the cameras for the first time. I'm seeing these guys. The, the late, I think he's late, but I call it two bull. Yes, yes. Yes, two bull. Leonel was playing some part wow. of some sergeant. Because Koki two bull was in radio as well. He was also, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm seeing him face to face. <laughs> I'm seeing these guys now. saying, yo, okay. All right, <laughs> all these other guys. What are you feeling at that time? Is this... I'm, I'm ecstatic, but also worried. Uh. How am I going to react? Because there was a guy there. What was this guy's name? You all, I remember. He was one of the models. Mm. Now he was also casted for Vuntana to be... In the movie? Yeah, yeah, to be in the movie, but there's an extra with okay, us. Okay. Now he's chatting to his bras. He says, I, you can't bad me, bra. Natara Pitoria. Akagiti Baba Soka Baba Muntanam Tan Mopila Hakremer. It's a difficult thing to do, you know. Well, in Yards at last. And then the Ralebel and Elikanza. So you already intimidated by this? Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, no training, nothing. But here we are. We are extras. And then I'm given a camera. You're going to be the reporter. When? Such and such comes out of that door. This is what you do. You just mm. flash, mm. flash, and then and then you, you go flash, flash, <laughs> and then you follow. You see, three, four of us. Then now, fast forward. Yeah, the day comes up, and then they say tomorrow you are coming back again. Get it now. Yo, another sixty rand. What's <laughs> going on, Yeah, this is it. We live here. Come some club. Get it. Yeah, we're not happy. Come sign. Get over right. But okay. This day, I'm a soldier. Now, <laughs> I should watch that movie and see you as a cameraman and also a soldier. Oh, 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 oh my God. Yes. I was a soldier wearing in khaki there and all that, a guard standing at the door. Mm. Now, 
for me, being a guard brought another aspect into the connections. Mm -hmm. The guy that was opposite me happened to be a writer yeah. of plays, very reputable. I didn't know him. Okay. He's one of the extras. He's playing one of the soldiers. He's standing there. So during lunch, mm. we meet. We start we talking. We start talking. And then he invites me. Okay, when we well up, I know and I'm from, mm. I, I'm the guy, I'm, I'm Ridgeway, Ridgeway Maku. I wrote this and I wrote that. And I look at him and I say, okay. Why did he take you serious? Because you were. Extra, no, no, like he's, he's introducing himself. Okay, it's just yeah. a chat. Yeah and, yeah, and I'm saying to him, Oh, is it possible that I come and watch you guys, you know, mm. and all that? He says, yeah, he gives me the address. He says, yeah, because I'm not shooting tomorrow, you can come back on such and such a day. Mm. And I made sure that day I was there. <laughs> I walked in. It's at Hollywood House on the fourth floor. Mm. It's Capricorn Players. Okay. Yeah, that's where I was trained. <laughs> that was the first time I started. So he said, come and do what? Just watch? Just, yeah, 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 come and watch. Yeah. And then he comes to me during all this time he's busy rehearsing. He says, are you interested? And I said, yeah, man. I don't know <laughs> if I can do this. He says, nah, no, you'll catch up. I'll, I'm here. Mm. Because we're running workshops and all those kinds of things. And I said, okay, if you think I can. And I say to him, you know, to interest him, I say, I, I, I can also play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He says, no, no, don't. this is acting now. <laughs> This is serious. It's acting, that's uh. not music. Yeah, but that's fine also. Yeah, but yeah. For here, I want you to play a policeman mm. who's going to be fathering some boy. Blah 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 blah. You're working with the superintendent. This is a play. No more cameras. It's a play now. now. Yeah, Black Man's Kingdom. Uh -huh. That's what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> Black Man's Kingdom. So I played that cop <laughs> who was with the superintendent, kicking people out of the houses. Your life. Yes. There's your that, life coming back to you. That was Yes. Yeah. That was what started the balls rolling. It's it's interesting how technically this world, you, you're chases. It was amazing. Yeah. It was like an accident, you know. Uh. It's very funny. Where you are hit by this car, but when you knocked off from off balance and then something else hits you yeah. and it takes you to another to another Completely. Direction. Yes. Because later on, now I get used to this guy mm. because now I'm raising with them yeah. for, for quite some time. Okay, raise, 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 raise. That play never went on stage and then he claims then somebody else has approached him to write something else. Mm -hmm. And then he says, he's got me in mind. There's a two hand, and I'm asking him, what is a two hand? <laughs> he says, it's a two man play. Yo, yo. And I'm saying, well, see, two pen. He says, yeah. yeah. He says, no, I can, I can pick up. You are very intelligent. Uh. See, yeah, don't worry. Lay a cast, then I'll put somebody else there. But I want you in a two hander. Uh, yeah, uh. it's there's somebody coming from England and all that, and I'm like. So you think that person? <laughs> it was like that Nam. Yeah, yeah. He says, yeah, he's from Stratapon Avon. Shut His up. name is Ian Hughes, and I'm told by the professor at the watch with the drama department to go go vets that this guy is coming in, but he wants to meet some of the guys. So I was introduced to him, and I'm saying, okay. And on Adula going to go pinfully and onto the So for sure it happened. And then he brings the scripts. He's already writing them. He's writing almost every day, giving us copies. Mm -hmm. Hey, and I'm reading. Now, say, yeah, I'm going to David to Now, David, someone tell me, I'm going to go to You know what? Hey, since you went, you came back, and then so sorry to tell you, and then, then you're reading paper. Hey, I'm in a workshop, guys. How old are you by then? Give or take. Man, I think I was in my early 20s. Yeah. I was in my early 20s. And Skela? Just, just before, that was before... Before seventy six, yes. No, okay. no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm already done now. Yeah, with, with high school, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I already say to my old lady, Kirima, I don't think I want to be a teacher. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I think I want to be a doctor. And they're all like, ha! Ah, I never have that money. Would why do you now? We always a medicine to, to, to take so long. Mm. Yeah. So, so now I'm, I'm there. It's nice. But she's not insisting that you go and do this she, teaching thing. She, 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 she insists. Yeah. And then now, because now I have the background of time a lot, because <laughs> I have to quickly do that and now do like I Okay. So you see, now they have separated. Now I can dodge it. <laughs> <Then laughs> yeah, time I lay, selling cookies, I pass. 
Now I know that I'm, I'm over 16 and that's it and all those kinds of things. But isn't yeah. Taima insisting on, on scale? I, I well, Taima, because he, he comes from this background. My, my father, I don't want to, to lie. My father was a spoiled brat. Mm, mm. He was a Casanova. <laughs> he, yeah, the mother looked him and he was a pianist. Okay. okay. Even my, my, my aunt. It was my coco, my wabon, and Anali. No, everything on under copy. No, and it never fell on that at that age. <laughs> I think so, yeah. So, yeah, all those kinds of things. So, you were able to dodge the teaching because you had your dad he, he, to protect he, you from your mother's in uh, mother's. Yeah, pressure. because all the pillow battle, I'm all the No, Kirin, Kirin. Yeah, but now I'm in this thing. This is taking me back to school. You see, it, it, it will it will teach me. Okay, you know, Nantu, Kirin. It's called the drama. I didn't, I didn't understand it. Yes, at later, yes. But <laughs> now, what takes the cake is that we rehearsed for about six to seven weeks. And then the opening night is at the Vets. Mm. Vets Theater. There's a theater there called the Nunnery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the nunnery. It's it's a church building okay. inside the campus. Now it's a two-hander, and then the audience do 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 the more. It's a theater in the round okay. format. Okay, wow. So I do that. It's black and white. Mm. Now it was directed by this guy because you know, he comes from Strata upon Avon, yeah. Shakespearean background. He's the one that directs me. Ian Hughes. That was a privilege for me. That's when I broke the ice. Yeah. Eh? It happened. My old lady did not believe mm. because I invited her and I, I made sure that the Utok rally transport to go back to now comes in shop. And then she couldn't believe it. She says, When I Monaya no Alhoa, La Maranta, you were. <laughs> you are arguing politically. What's your <laughs> Then I said, Yeah, yeah, but it's a play. That's the situation. I'm in South Africa. So can I mm, you know, uh, Yeah, no, Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then it started there. It was called Heaven's Weep for Tina Sonke. Wow. The two hander uh, with these two guys, black and white. Yeah, discovering certain things, going to work. we or our set was just a big, a big rock, mm, and then mm. we were chained, both of us, Jeez. manacled, even limo. His white is going that way. We are separated by a line mm, in the mm. middle of the stage, going that way, putting it down. It's lunchtime. Stand up until he discovers a small trolley. Mm -hmm. and there was some trolley, small toy mm. a trolley with four wheels. The two wheels this side and the two wheels of the line. Mm. Now he looks at that and then he decides, listen, I'm taking this rock and putting it on this trolley. Mm. And then instead of putting it on my shoulders, I'm going to pull. Mm. And I notice that. Yes. And that's where the argument comes in. Or, <laughs> Arre, but it's mine. I recovered. Bekiri, I know mm. that you saw it, but Linda, the two. Parts of the wheels are on my there. side. So yeah, these two wheels are coming. The other wheels is there. It means both of us can use it. He said, "No ways." Then we struggled, and then Jeez. we broke it. You both yeah. lose. <laughs> yes, both of us has got the two wheels. I've got the two wheels. Uh. Half of the what you call was done. So that was how brilliant that play was made. Wow, yeah, it's it, it's amazing how the story is still relevant today. It is. It yeah. is. I didn't see it then, but then later on, I I discovered all oh, its emotions, mm -hmm. the things that someone else sees something that you have that he thinks you don't see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you did not think that you could use it, not at all. But when he uses it, then you realize, or well, of course, it's also mine because yeah. if I thought I would have used it too, yeah. you see. The argument is just that. Because when uh, Ridgway described the play, he says this play is is are two guys who are sort of locked up in a vacuum. Mm, mm. Okay. In a small little yeah. world. Yeah. Yes. But now both of them are struggling to breathe mm. because now there's a small hole. They have to share. And they both need that hold. <laughs> that was it. Wow. That so was this this was the it. beginning of... Uh, that was the beginning of... Owens Jag as we know him today, yes. essentially. Oh, yes. Do you look back in your career and say plays are always 
where you'll always show showcase your your best work because uh, because plays you know having had a chat with uh, that day uh, uh, Jeremy Fuking here yeah. he says there's nothing beats <laughs> being on stage what is your your association with plays he's, having done so much work oh, oh yes he's he's hundred percent hundred and ten percent right yeah nothing beats the stage because this is where now you communicate with your audiences mm. right there and at the same time when they are there. There is no other way that you could do it on to somewhere else from far away. Mm. You see, that alone takes you to, to, into, 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 into some journey. Yeah, It takes you to, through a journey where you have to imagine things and it challenges you also that people are seated here. Mm. very quiet <laughs> and listening to you and there you are you dare not stare mm. <laughs> go the other way around because they've paid mm. to see you that word always rings in your minds it always reminds you that hey people have paid to see you you must make sure that you're doing something that they cannot do. That's why they have to pay That's for it. entertainment. And at the same time, you are sharing information with them. Mm. Those words again, yes. better do something that they, they know they cannot do. Yes, that's yeah. what artists are all about. Yeah, yeah. They, they are very creative. That has to happen. But we do get heebie-jeebies. We do get <laughs> the, the, the stomach. Stage, stage, stage fright. Stage fright. Yeah, it happens. It's, it's, it's very difficult because every time, every now and then we find ourselves walking into corners, <laughs> trying to remember. And if, you have to be versatile also that if you're your co-actor loses it. Mm. Oh, make sure that you have you to cover up. Oh yes, you cover up for him. It what happened. is on stage? Oh yes, yeah. people must not read or there's something wrong there. Yeah, they must just see it as part of it ongoing. You've got to cue him in such a way that they think they think. It is part and parcel of the show, yet it's not. Yeah, but like tomorrow they realize, Mar, this part was different yesterday. <laughs> they can never tell. <laughs> They'll never tell. Yeah, eh? <laughs> they can never tell because if they are attentive enough, mm. they'll yeah, know. No, that's that, yeah, no, that's true. Yes. Yeah. Once they are attentive, attentive enough, because they, they remind others, or, hey, Muna, you must go and watch that. Mm. It's very relevant yeah. to the situation we are in in South Africa. To an extent, like I was trying to tell you earlier on, Hori, that we as the actors were also trying to be isolated by television. Mm. Yes, because we were called, not artists, but we are called as politicians. They say we are, we heed. The, the message, the arts. yes, yeah. in the arts. Yeah, we was, were was, hiding in the arts, but we're actually politicians. Did you ever uh, be involved in a production that was, was deliberately stopped by by the very government that Special was Special branch. Yes, yes. I think we were doing Night of the Long Week. This Night of the Long Week was a play pre-1976 okay. riots. Okay. Yeah, so we were in such an intimate theater because we created the, 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 the internet, what's called a theater in this country for the first time, black theater. It was called the Romo. Okay. Romo Theatre, because of the, that guy was a writer apparently. Ah, okay. And it was directed by Benji Francis. Mm. So it was, I think we were about five of us. So it dealt with the political system mm. of the, yeah, yeah. So, yes, one day as we were playing, because you'd never know who are the audiences. Of course. Then you would hear this bleep. Beep, beep. Yo, yo. Beep, beep. Then we knew. We knew that there's something wrong mm. and all that sounds and everything else. And then after two or three weeks, as the play was returning to stage, we had the message that that place has to be shut down. Mm. It's a fire hazard. <laughs> that was the excuse that the system is. So oh, the building itself must be shut down. And yeah, they said so. And we cannot have a, a theater like that. We're just next to the market theater. We're in Pim Street. Yes. Yes. The market theater was <laughs> happening. Yeah, yes. And yeah, we're in Pim Street more. So that place was shut down. And a little bit of Larona was very strange of that group. We are called the Action Center. Ah, yeah, yeah. You see, <laughs> and each time anybody that came to visit the center, 
they would be very interested because of the fact that they said, hey, the politics there, mm -hmm. when the actors, if you join that group there, it means you must know who you are. Mm. <laughs> you must understand that you are a brother in the struggle for creation. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what we. That's what artists are. But but, but you you didn't get join things like that deliberately as a as a with a political hate. Right? No, no 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 no. We didn't. We didn't until we were made aware. Mm. <laughs> until we were made aware by the system. Yes. Until we were made aware by the politicians themselves. Mm. Because you know the strangest thing is that uh, David, uh, uh, politicians have a way of trying to get people around the bend, mm, you see, mm. saying things. But now they knew that artists can easily uh, influence yeah, the public. Absolutely. So the only way that they could get rid of us is to make sure that they stop us dead in our tracks. Mm, mm. So this is exactly... I'm so sorry to say this, but it happened after 1994. Mm. It was difficult for us then. Yeah. You see, from the 70s up until we got the new dispensation in. But we discovered also that, okay, it means politicians actually are failed actors. <laughs> because when you look at everything they do, they want to see themselves in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. And all the time. <laughs> and the fact that at some stage at SABC, when a friend of mine went to go and ask if we can still do the second version of the the theater internet what's called the drama that we made it was called masai king mm -hmm. yeah uh, 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 moraki yeah oh yeah i know i know yeah, moraki yeah. so yeah and then he, he went there to to find out if they can do masai king too mm, okay you see and i was playing the lead in that yeah. drama yeah thing and then he was told no, man, boy, and I did wood. No. Yeah, but no. Yes, the, uh, what you call uh, 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 arts, television is getting younger now. Mm. That really angered me because I've never, ever traveled all over the world to see a younger television. Mm. I've never seen it, but since our government came in, they did that. They did us a very, very bad deal because we really advocated for them. Of course. All the time we yes. advocated for You became them. a politician without realizing. Oh, yes. Yeah. We used politics, but we're in the arts. That's it. You yeah. see? And we had that excuse that, no, we are only replicating what is happening to us. Mm. We live the reality of life on stage. And then to make sure that everybody realizes. Because it's the only way to spread the media mm -hmm. when mm. you go overseas and all those kinds. I mean... I remember at one stage when I came back from, we came back from England, mm. if I'm not mistaken. We're doing a play there called The Mountain of Volcano. It was also directed by Benji Francis. So when we got back here, uh, Arfit Lamo is John Smart's mm, airport. Those days. Yes. That's the 80s. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's in the 80s, yeah. I had a tap on the shoulders and uh, that was detention. Yo. <laughs> because we did this play overseas. We met with the exiles. We met with everybody. We played in all the other theaters mm -hmm. to show them where we are, how far we are, and all those kinds of things. Where you are is South Africa. Yes, yes this is it. Even for the exiles, the guys that were there. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, that was it, you see. For now, you know that we're going to be interrogated. What was the penalty? What happened to you? No, you you get questioned. And then sometimes, if they have evidence, it would be detention without trial. That is, yeah, 90 days. Mm. You're staying in the cells with no one to, to know where you are. What was your experience? Well, the experience that we had was that interrogation is very... It's very traumatizing. Mm. It's very traumatizing. I remember at some stage when we got back from culture and resistance uh, workshops, Kobutswana, that was still in the 80s, now getting to the 90s. It was it was still the same kind of group, Aya Benji. 
Benji okay. Francis, we and the guys, yeah, we came back from doing a play there, Carrots for Rabbits. Uh. <laughs> now that was about detention. We were remembering the last 12 days of Steve Biko at the time. You see interrogations and all that, and what and what happened in the twenty the, the the twelve days when he lived, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he died. Of course, all that. Kanti, that thing was watched by guys really go. What is this Indian township country? Lenazia. Yes. Okay. Yeah, at the at, at, at the theater there. Gandhi, there were some special branch guys. Black by by Boney, the yeah, state. Yeah, they saw it. I was yeah. manacled in chains. And then there was this guy interrogating me. So we happened to take that play to the culture and resistance mm. where we met with all the exiles, everyone and all the guys. The rest of them, many guys that mm. we met, man. Yeah. Exile. Even Brahu, Kilaga mm. Monaco. Yeah, Bo Ausleta, the rest of all the guys. Yeah, it was amazing. Bo Bra Jonas Kwang. Bona, they came yeah. just in for us to meet and all those kinds of things. So when we came back from, from, from Botswana, it was very strange that day because when we got to the border gate, we could only see our kumbi and uh, the gates were opened. <laughs> the South African side, we passed Kobutswana. Then we go to the South African side. When we reached there, our gate, the, turn of the gate was shut behind us. Hey. And then we got to go to the offices to go and present. It, yes, of course. Ah, it started then because I saw my clothes scattered all over, all of us. So by, by the searching. Cops were there. Yeah. Cops were there searching everything. <laughs> now, there was a book that I used to have. It, 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 it was a book of poetry. Mm. It was called Reconstruction. Yeah. That book, this guy read, and he's a black guy, a cop. He says, Kiri politiki mo jeman. Yo black Sam. Kiri politiki si Come, 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 come. Then I like because the first time when we went through the kavaya that that book was like a guy building. It was called reconstruction. So they thought. So this African guy says says to me, "Oh, so you're doing something on 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 building?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm in here. Uh, yeah, but this one opened it, ah. and then that's that was the detention. But I think we were detention for more than 15, 16 hours. Okay, we were taken out by the old lady Lele, who was very popular in speaking on behalf of the." Artists and politicians. Nirmamita Priscilla Chani, she was a mm. lawyer. Okay. Yeah, she had to, Benji Francis had connections. Jeez. And then we had to, but eight interrogations that thing were very arduous. What What were they trying to, to find out from, from they, you? They were trying remember? to find out that who are we? What are we? Are we advocating the things that people who are in jail are doing? Are we encouraging the public? Mm to protest and all those kinds mm. of things. And we told them it was art. <laughs> That's what is all in the art is life. That's it. You see? Yeah. So that was it. Because so many plays that I was involved in uh, were very, very highly political. I can place. imagine, yeah. How, yes. how long were you in the theater for before the big television break? Hey, we've been there for quite some time. I've been there for quite some time. I think... I started in the theater professionally, I think in 76. Mm. And sometimes near when television was introduced, it was somewhere in the mid 80s. 80s, yeah. But now we were uh, non grata. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have, yeah, yeah, we were people that were not needed mm. yeah, because we were associated with politics. Oh, so it wasn't even easy for you yeah, yeah, to yeah. get your first gig uh, on, oh, yeah, on TV. Yes, it was, it was, it was really heavy. Uh. Yeah, they, 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 they really, they really refused to get us in. Yeah, they said, "Hey, it's more less more politique, I." Yeah, and then theater, theater, say, "Kak," and all the other. It wasn't easy. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah it, it, it wasn't easy. And what turned it around then? I think they knew that things were happening. Now we knew what they do, and there's nothing to stop the politics. Oh, Even if okay. they stopped us from having the drama department in universities, because mm. they said there were no blacks, black students. Yeah, blacks can never handle Shakespeare. 
<laughs> and they don't know Ruth Wakai. <laughs> oh, yes. So that's how much they undermined us. Uh. So when they saw this, that the tide was really getting there. Yeah. yeah. Because I remember at one stage when the late Ndate Bishop Tutu mm. got shambocked. Mm. It was after I I had recited poetry mm. in Arieza Go London. The things that I was reciting there were so amazing, it infuriated everyone. Sure. There. Yes. I don't know if you, you want me to say one or two of no, those. No, please, lines. please, if you can, yes. by all means. <laughs> yeah, because it really f fired people up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We are the people who share the night with the moon. We are the people who own darkness with the stars. We are the people shattering white myth and black passivity, riding on the white crest in sheer copulative ecstasy, spitting sweet venom in some cosmic dome of pink despair. We are the people with the chain of whispers, whispering freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom is a rose. Freedom is a rose amidst thorns. We are the roaring rays of smoldering voices, identifying the disheveled scenery, bursting through the rocks of volcanic mountains, challenging the heroism of the winds, conquering the rapids of the rivers, igniting the final fires. We tame the winds. We command the storms. We call the tempest. Voices at work. Our sense of reality holds the oppressive flags down. Down, fire, fire, fire! <laughs> this is the hour. Yes. That was, that's so amazing. It's so emotive. Oh, and the oh, passion yeah. in it oh. is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came from Mount Novel. Hey. Yes. And so, it's well written, I must admit. Oh, 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 oh yes, <laughs> yes. Now... When we when we finished performing that because it went with the drums and all those kind mm. of things, yeah. So suddenly the guys told us, "Hey, hey, hey guys, we, we're going to use the back doors because at the <laughs> front is bad, they are here." Special branch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special branch was there, and then Bishop Tutu was trying to stop them. Then that's when he was shambok. One of the guys gave him a shambok. Uh, poor old man. Oh yes. yeah. So now we were taken. To he a, wasn't uh, old then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Was in a little light, yeah. yeah, in a little yeah. good money at that time. Mm. Yeah, we were taken through to 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 Joe to Joe's church. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we Jeez. were yes. So you've been through the the political uh, 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 journey of your life as well. That's it. We we actually as artists, the way I look at it, we we liberated the politicians. We liberated, we liberated the country. We did it because we went outside. Because I'm saying this, David, because I remember speaking to to Sidney Portier. He's, mm -hmm. a, he's a black American. Oh, American actor. actor, yeah. So I was playing a role there. He, was, he came here to play Mandela. Mm -hmm. I remember so, that. Yeah. Yes. So I asked him one day, you know, as to, but uh, Sidney, why, why don't you guys give us a chance? I mean, you can give us the money so that we can do these movies because they are ours. In mm -hmm. the, the stories are yours. Yes. Then he says, now, Owen, you must understand one thing that I had to take out my money and then Joe, Joseph Sergeant mm -hmm. is the director. We have we come from 40 years of background in, in theater together. Mm -hmm. He's also put his money and then other producers came mean to help us do this thing we we've, we've got the writers who mm. must understand mm. that mm. yeah we've got interesting the it's load shedding but we carry on here. yeah you can so, check the cameras yeah. if they're giving you this decent no, color no, no, no. I'm more about the lights now. this light uh, yeah there we are okay okay <laughs> Uh, okay, then we need to check it. We're not solar power. Okay, yeah. yeah but yeah. it, uh, can we, South Africa Aeronet. Hey, South Africa Aeronet <laughs> has put us here. Hey, I've had a lot of people here uh, from Bo, that did uh, uh, Sipo Hot Sticks Mabuse, amongst many others. Yes, I've had yes, yes. Uh, 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 Brajeri uh, Mufuking and many others. And there's such a similarity in your stories. Y yes. You know, Bra Sipo was talking about their travels to both Zimbabwe oh, yes, uh, at the yes. time, Rhodesia oh, yes. at the time. And that's how they ended up with their name. Exactly. Yes. And he speaks of this strong, strong connection between the politics of that time yes. and, and, and the arts. Yes. I want to fast forward with that thought in mind. Mm. Fast forward uh, 27 odd years later to today. 
what do you feel as a as an artist mm. and how artists are treated over the past ever many years in South Africa and uh, whether whether there's that recognition of one there's a time when politicians were relying on the artists to keep the message oh, going oh, yes, what do you yes. what is your perspective of how things have has be, have become right now i feel very very strong about it that we've been led up the garden path mm. you see promises that okay things democracy and all those kinds of things it's such a pity mm. that we know that we play the role and we know for the fact that uh, politicians themselves know mm. that it's very very likely that we could run the country mm. Mm. it was the proof of the pudding is in the eating of course so if you recall uh, uh, an artist in america became the president that was ronald, ronald reagan. reagan yeah you get me yeah. and then linda dole mange bill clinton mm -hmm. the jazz tenor saxophonist hey, yes. you see so i i feel that our people in government knew this mm. and they decided that if we don't cut it mm. if we don't cut the arts and then put them in their places make sure that we separate them from that mm. we can run the country for as long as we want i think they it was a, it, it's a deliberate move that they did it's but what do they achieve with that move because you know you can well, you, you don't have aspirations of being president but at least the least you want probably is to be recognized of 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 course it's just that they feel they know that the creative arts can run the country mm. they know i mean with storytelling they know that we can even write the policy <laughs> as, as to how to run the world what to do and yeah, all those kinds of yeah. we don't promise utopia that does not exist no at all our utopia is the one that lives yes it's the unfortunate part about them so you can see that they are stopping us and they are making sure that the youth today's youth does not recognize us mm. because they want to put them there Huh. the forefront to feel that they are better than us yeah. so that they get the chance of doing it huh. you see because they, they love have you seen tenakele hatsama because he'll go to to a scene never try a moment without television cameras following him yes of course he he'll be there <laughs> strutting his stuff and then the people that were doing investigation are in the background he's mm. the one that's going to answer as a minister yeah you see yes now you ask yourself if the guy that was doing the dirty work does not have the chance to speak but he's the one that actually says it mm. it tells you that this guy wants the limelight yes it's unfortunate <laughs> and it's very unfortunate you didn't even turn a little bit that yes and i'm sorry even that the same himself. yeah yeah he he lived the limelight to an extent that he decided that they can teach us mm. for for overseas people who are just like us you see coming mm. from the same system that we come from but bona they were much much better because they were liberated earlier yeah. so he decided that he would rather choose the the the, 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 the what you call the well, Sydney Portier amongst Sydney, others yes. yes yeah yes because yeah but then because I would tell, I was just, just trying to 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 say this thing yes Sydney Portier Sydney Portier says to me if Mandela thought there was anyone Mm. in this country that can play him he would easily have done so the man is an icon in such a way that he could make trillions mm. to make this movie but now clearly he knows that he does he doesn't see anyone befitting his standards hmm. that angered me i can imagine eh? yeah, that angered me because yeah. i knew and i said okay that behind your charms it means you wanted to be famous mm. so you are using it at our expense now unfortunately we participated in the struggle there's nothing you guys can do as 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 the arts and and those that are in it you, yourselves and many others whether musicians yes, uh, yes. whether actors have you ever come together uh, and i know it's not easy to organize artists it's not yeah, yeah it's <laughs> to not easy come together to say but we've been we've been dealt a, a raw deal here because you're still here you're yeah. still here yes. you, and you're still a you know you're still not necessarily have access to politicians but they know your plight oh, they know yes. the challenges they, that they you know going. exactly because you see the funniest thing is that sydney poet says something very important he says 
and, and, and I say, but your country recognizes you people and respects you. He says, that's because, Owen, we are America. We fly the flag of America wherever we go. Any American movie you see, it's an American movie. So we as the artists are the ones. That's why they have the right to pay us because it's our right because we are the ambassadors of the country. Now, you come back to our country, then you find that it's it's the other way around. They think, no, let's use the youth. You see, we'll use the youth against them. Mm. You see, yeah, because we have a problem. I remember and, and sometimes there was, there's something, Franz uh, Fanon, when he says that, you see, when, when people that have struggled take over, they tend to emulate the... their erstwhile oppressors. Ish. Because, you know, uh, in a suppressive system, you see uh, 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 colonization is so inculcated in their and, uh, bodies uh, that uh, they can't they help can't it. They can't pretend that they don't know it. Yeah, they yes. They do it the same. Yes. They, yeah. So then they'll be worse. So they use the youth, mm. you see, to override us. That's why even the youth today, even if they are not singing, but they believe they are singing. But I would say to them, please find yourselves, mm -hmm. find yourselves as artists and find music, not the ranting and raving that you are doing today. We understand mm -hmm. you're saying you're rhyming. It's rhyming. <laughs> it's not singing. <laughs> yeah, see. Play an instrument and I'm fine. Yeah. Because I could hear there were some guys that were talking about uh, Ama Piano. Mm -hmm. And I say, but they, 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 there's no piano. Does anyone play? <laughs> I've That's had that argument. Problem. Interesting. Yes. I, I, that uh, Mabu said, uh, says the same thing. Araki yeah. Uki Piano. Y yes. But they, <laughs> they, they, they call it genre. Yes. They say, piano. Well, then you yeah. say, but it has, it's nothing common to the piano. Yes. There's nothing here. Play an instrument, let's see. Or maybe a penny whistle. Because Rona, during our time as we were growing up, we, you know, we were encouraged. To, to to be able to at least play play instrument six fingers, on, yeah. play an instrument flute or maybe guitar yes. you see so that you learn something out of this but barina no they're just using the machinery and they say and that's, that's it, it. they're artists yeah. yeah the artist and then they're giving them the money mm. and then when they look at us they're looking at nemesis <laughs> you see Useless, useless, you know. A relic of yes. an old time. Yes, yes. Ah, time yeah. uh, They think it's that time. It's not that time now. The manji, we've taken over. Have you ever used the the guitar thing that you learned ever in your career? Ever needed to the, use? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I remember this light, like dear Arthur Mulep. I think you do mm, know Arthur mm, Mulep. Yeah. Arthur Mulep plays a guitar, yeah, uh. strong. For that, and then Ndwana Hai Mpo Mpo Mulepo plays the flute. Okay, he plays yeah. He also plays the guitar. So he came to me one day at the old market theater, and then I was asked to to, to, to come and help him here to mm. play. He called called the Dipala. Okay, and I directed it, and I had to play. <laughs> I had to play, and then I had to play the flute also. Wow, you see. But he's better. He's a better player than me because it, he, he also reads. Oh, he reads he, music. Yeah, he, yeah, he wrote the what's called the script and the music in it. Wow. So I had to help him with the uh, uh, older DTs, mm. help them putting into this thing. Yeah, we played it. It played at the market. Then it played at the old Windbrow Theatre. Okay. Yeah. And many many of our colleagues. I remember one of them saying, "Hey, Owen." You know, you're doing things that not other artists can do. <laughs> you sing, you do. Yeah, yeah. He says, you, you play an instrument. Yeah. And I say, yeah. And I say, yeah. And I mean, for me, it's a milestone. <laughs> see, it's a milestone. And I wish I could have artists like that to, to do it. Mm, yes. Mm. Yeah. Your, your, your career in TV has so many productions. They too many to list. And, and some of them... Uh, much bigger, including movies as well. Yes, yes. Mention mention one that that you look at yourself and say, hey, "I'm proud. I was. I walked past those cameras. So that production. Which one comes to mind almost immediately? Well, I think Masakeng in Zone 14. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? Because you see, when I reached uh, uh, the stage to play the lead in Masakeng. Yeah. It was, I mean, he fetched me whilst I was rehearsing a play 
milestones. Lee, Lee the late Sbongile was there, wow. with Gloria Bosman, yes. were in that play. And then he came to give me the scripts. And Tapele at that time did not even know me personally, but he says, I saw this picture of you <laughs> in the press. And I said, I wanted Bra Owen to play yeah. this role. And that is our, our I love it simply because Bong mm. a lot of people that come from the 70s never forget it. Mm. They always, they still call me by the name. That name, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Even in the later stages in Zone 14, it's mm. the same thing. Yeah. Even today, there are people that still call, hey, Bra Tiger, hey, Bra Tiger. <laughs> it's, it's all those You carry of, those roles with yes, you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, uh, uh, Sawa saw on a character and the entire thing took over so much across the country. Oh, oh yes, yes. They so associate with it. Yes. And it was disappointing when Tapelo tried to do the second one and then he was told, ah, dead wood. Oh, hell. He said, oh my goodness me. Yeah, yeah, it starts this, again. Kanti, Kanti, these guys, now I, and I believe that they were used by politicians because they came and occupied the SABC. And then they started feeding them the information that you can get rid of all these guys. And then we can get the yeah, let's get rid of them so that we can come in and take. Because Barata Limelight. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Barata Limelight. Yes, yeah. Whether we like it or not, they think they are there. They are because they guy the models today. No, not at all. You, you've yeah. also done a uh, Yuzo Yuzo amongst others. Oh, I think oh, even yes. the line. You have a, you have oh, a role oh, yes, in the yes, line. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, when Jerry was playing that guy, they, it, it was amazing. <laughs> that was the one of the first movies where I was cast and I found myself swearing. Yes, that was <laughs> one of your, your roles. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> this guy was just a, 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 a guy drinking Kuntuna Koka, see who doesn't care. Even if he sees a priest coming, says, hey, he's the cock predicant. <laughs> that was your role. <laughs> yeah, that was my role. <laughs> and then the director came from Germany and then oh. I forget his name. But yeah, hey, he, he loved it. He says, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because yeah. that was a landmark uh, movie. Eh? Uh, oh, we, uh, yeah. Was it a movie? Probably a series. It had few episodes. Y uh, yeah, the line. Yes, the yeah. line. Yeah. It's amazing how they are not repeated. Yeah. I mean, and actually, is... it'll 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 be very big if, if it played now. Oh, yes. It'll be well received. It's amazing how our government does not insist that they want to see those things that we did before. Yeah. So that the younger can imbibe from that. That's true. It's unfortunate. But now they're doing things. For instance, it's disappointing to see a young man playing a father to a guy who's almost his age. <laughs> and then is that what say, you see on TV now? Then you see, then you say, no, this is not real. Mm. I've never seen a country like that where the young call the other young Baba. <laughs> I say, it's us, the fathers now, whether they like it or not. Is there still work for, for uh, artists your age in, in this country now? It's very rare. It's very rare. But uh, I must appreciate the fact that uh, uh, I played a role in How to Ruin Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now, recently. Yeah, yes. on, yeah on Netflix. Yeah. I uh, must appreciate the fact that even the Rouse Productions called me for Black Tax. Yeah. Yes. And then there was another one that we did before, even if I played for one, for one episode, but I loved the fact that they said, this character fits Bra Owen. Mm -hmm. See, it was, I think it was written Kisil Lomaki. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he played the other roles and whilst I played that in one episode, but it carries on the story. They see my picture all the way. Yeah. Yeah, you see, yeah. And and what kind of character, because you use the phrase, this role fits Pra Owen. What kind of character do you think fits your, your personality? Having seen uh, and done so much work over the years. I think any other character that has that has more challenges, that challenges me. Yes, I would I would take it as a challenge as well and, and take it head on, you see. But if it's something that is very light, yeah, that for me is not it. I want to, I want to play heavy. <laughs> yes, I okay. To, I want to be challenged. This is this is this is the lesson I learned during the theatrical times. Mm. Because yeah, even in Shakespeare, you see, I, I've constantly played Brutus. It's, it was amazing. <laughs> 
Yes, in the eighties, I I played Brutus. Uh, yeah. And you were able to master that that language, that oh, that tricky language. Oh yes, and can I can, can let me say something? Let for me you hear it. Brutus. Yes, <laughs> Brutus. Brutus says, and then he was in the porch scene. It must be by his death, and for my part, I know no personal cause to spurn at him, but for the general, he would be crowned. How that nature may cut his characteristics. There is the question. Tis bright day that brings forth the edder, that craves worry walking. Crown him that, and then I grant we put a sting in him that at his will he may do danger with. The abuse of greatness is when it disjoins remorse from power. Mm. But to speak truth of Caesar, I have not known when his affection swayed more than his reason, but tis common proof that lowliness is young ambition's ladder. Where to the climber upward tends his face, and when he once attains the utmost round, he then unto the ladder tends his back, looks in the clouds, scorning the base degrees by which he did ascend. So, Caesar may, then lest he may prevent and since the quarrel will bear no color for the thing is, fashion it thus that what is augmented would run to these and these extremities, and therefore think him as the serpent's egg, which hatched wood as his kind grow mischievous and kill him in the shell. Wow. It's amazing. That was Brutus, yeah. You were a young man. Oh, yes. That when was you, in when, the 80s. Yes, you are a young, yes. young man. It's, that's it's, an indelible, yes. It's, it never left you. No, 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 no. It's it's the, it's one of the things, you know. It's one of those things, you know, that I, when I did, I felt very challenged. And I thought about the apartheid system, <laughs> which actually thought we could not handle Shakespeare. No, and look at you. Yes. <laughs> Almost 40 years later, and you're still able are. to recite yeah, it. They, 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 they are, they're looking at me and they're like, okay, you are doing that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> You know, something that comes to mind almost instantly when when I hear you do that with Shakespeare. Yes, is that you? You you don't have a lot of education. Your education is fairly limited. Uh, yes, but yes. yet yet you are able to one master a language. It's, I guess language can be mastered by anybody, but also be able to appreciate things that were regarded as quite academic in nature. Well, you, you see, that's the thing about experience. That's the thing about it. And if you tell yourself you want to do something, you just have to get there and tell yourself, this I'm going to win. This is the war I have to win. It has to, to get soaked in your blood. And then whatever you do, make sure, make sure that you do the best out of it. Because as I was saying to you that I love challenges. Yeah. I love challenges. I thrive on challenges. But you give me something that is no, saying nothing to me, it will just remain as that nothing. Yeah. yeah. It'll just be another job. Oh, yes. It yeah. will be just coming to get the pay, into the pay, back, into the pay, pay and then and go home. It, and then go yeah. home. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah. it's one of those things. But I think our, our workshops did a lot mm. as far as education is concerned. And very early on when you were oh, still young. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were given so much books, material to read, mm. Mm. and we really re-educated ourselves. Mm. Then I remembered what I was telling you earlier about my grandfather saying, let us imbibe yeah. from these guys. But later on, Elehan's paid full. They'll regret it. Yeah, because we would have taken so much. Yes. yes. So, so that's why if you get to any jail and then you find these guys speaking the language, there is some bit of Africans, but they cannot understand this too. But my Jason Pete had it has said, I for understand. Yeah, I can not understand it. But he was not know what. Yeah. Did you recognize early that you had to put in extra work uh, to be to be the great uh, Owen Owen that you become? Because with 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 little resources, we 
if you end up becoming a star, very often the story finds that, well, I had to work twice as hard to achieve what other people were achieving so easily. Was it the same for you? Yes, yes. That's why I'm saying if you let something get soaked into your blood, then all the commitments come in there. Yeah. You just have to do that. Otherwise, you will never, ever achieve anything because it just comes, you are giving it on the platter. So for us, I think apartheid worked miracles because we were even more and more determined to show these guys that we will win this war, yeah. like it or not. Do you think we won the war, looking at the kind of country we have now? As a, as a whole? I think we've been let down because we've been let down by the fact that the youth today have dropped the ball. You see, you remember I tried to, Yes, you were, say, you were speaking of, yes. of different generations of different y roles. Yes, they yeah. dropped the ball because I remember there was a time when we were told whilst we're getting to these halls, the YMCA. Yes. YMCAs and all that because those were the places where we could asuntin, asuntin, to assemble mm. after school, go dancing, boxing, karate, it, yes. you see, singing and all those other things at these halls. You see, guys would come in there uh, and then disguise themselves as just people coming from a church. Mm. Mm. We didn't know. But Rona, we listened to those guys. We didn't know. There was a, a situation where these guys came in and they called themselves some community church. And then they started to speak politics. Then they mm -hmm. said, you know, guys, the gap is too, is too large. Once 10 years have passed after the death of 69 people in Shabville, and then you find yourselves and you are you are being fed with the languages that you don't want mm. and you are quiet. You are the youth. You are the people that have to do it. That's why June 16 happened. Now, fast forward, we come to our children. Today. We come to the youth today. Uh. They know everything but, but about nothing. <laughs> because the simple question, David, they do not ask us the information so that we can pass it over to them. Is it is it isn't it natural for young people though to believe that they they have it figured out? As well, they call it. That's what Oscar Wilde says. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they're always saying that he says all, all generations feel that they are better than the ones that came came before, before them. them. Yeah. You see, that's the thing. So you look at today's youth and say, hey. <laughs> they've, they've dropped the ball. Yeah. Because today we have a problem where you find about 90% of the youth at robots, at stop streets, asking for one rand and two rands. And then you look at the foreign legion, the guys, the youth coming from the other side of the, the, country, the, 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 the country or Limpopo mm. coming over here. They are the ones with the skills. Yeah. And then you ask yourself, where is what Maburu Narkoro Naki Ambach? Those hand skills. Yes, yes. where are those skills? They, we don't have builders. We don't have people that are prepared to do it. Mm. But they want shortcuts. You see? And it's not their fault. It is the fault of the, of the constitution of the country. I don't care. Everybody can say the constitution is the best in the world. Mm. But I think it's the worst. <laughs> yes, tell me, tell me about yes. that. Yes, I think it is the worst because you cannot tell a man in his house how to control their children. You see? It's even written there by, is it, is it? In 1984, he spoke about the fact that there was a country called Oceania. Okay. Where the government used the youth, you see, to spy to eat mm. as big brother what their parents are doing because they did not uh, recognize the fact that people should give more birth. Mm. Once parents had sex, I think mm. they should tell. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then they would fit them by on uh, 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 liberation day, they give them liquor and everything. Mm. They get drunk and food and all those kinds of things. Mm. You see, using them. Now a, we, yes, yeah. now we have a problem today because now they were told that a kid of a child, I mean, still a child, 12 mm. years, that they've got rights. 
What nonsense. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of people arguing with you. I, I do have rights. Yeah, I, 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 I don't mind, but yeah. it's me. And true. That's yes. your, your, your experience. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's my opinion because I think that we, 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 we can learn nothing about about experience if That's we are not true. taught by the people with experience. Who came before that. Yes, yeah. people that came before us knew better. What is the long-term effect of, of this youth that you speak of now? What is what what type of South Africa do we do we end up with based on your 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 current uh, perception of young people? Well, without quivering, without beating about the bushes, I think it will be taken over by the foreign legion again. Yeah. Our black brothers or sisters or others coming from America, they'll take over again. Because we have a useless youth that cannot do anything. Yeah. They just want shortcuts. So one day they'll wake up with a president that is not from here. <laughs> That's the problem. Imagine with. that day. Eh? Yes. They'll wake up with a par parliament run by people coming maybe from somewhere else. Uh, you get me? And so, they managed to naturalize and be South African. Oh, oh, yes. But when you check their history, where the umbilical cord is, yes. it's in another country altogether. It's, it's, yes. You see, this is why, you see, most of the time I, when I look at these kids and I'm saying, but what are you going to do five years from now? Because they don't have it. They don't have their future in front of them. Yeah. Well, five years from now, what are you going to do? And then, ah, time out. And I was having an argument with another one yesterday, trying to say things. And, and, and I said, you know what, boy? You're talking, but you're saying nothing. Mm. That's my problem with you. Are you on something? <laughs> he says, I time. And I said, but you, you, you're talking, but, but you're saying nothing. You see, five years from now, and I said, okay, can I ask you one simple question? He says, okay, time, I ask. And I said, why are you here? He says, oh, I, I'm here because Jesus, and I said, you see, there, there lies in the problem. <laughs> now you're jumping to the end. He's going to the Bible. Yeah, quickly. Now you're going to the Bible. Uh, you see, something that you don't even want to listen to, it's fine. Yeah. But unfortunately, listen, I'll tell you why I'm asking you the question. Because I want to know, what does your seed do when you are useless and sleeping under the bridges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what do the women folk do? Because if you believe of Umvelingang, yeah. Mudimu, Badzimu, and all that, our gods, you must believe that if there has a watch called two people that were, were, were created mm -hmm. so that they can procreate again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. They can turn so that you can expand the, mm. the what you call. Yeah. Now you guys are not using yours. You are useless. <laughs> You're not even doing that. You're not doing that. <laughs> but you are there drunk and all that. Yes. And I told him, I said, you know, one of your friends came to our workshops one day because we me and my wife were running a what you call in, in, in some center that side. Uh, and the, the, this youngster was talking about drugs. He says, guys, it's not true because I come from, from a rehab. I realized that it's not true that we have to, to, to always be on 10. Mm. Because the problem with this is that we, 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 tend, we tend really sitting, really taking the back seat and relying on what we are taking. Mm. Because if you are on 10, as days as the day goes by, it goes nine, of eight, course, seven, of six, course. four, five, four. You want to go to three, ten again. Two, one. You want to go to ten again. Mm. You want to go to the streets, and then we'll all end up. You see, it's it's no use. And I said he's the only young star that spoke sense because he's he's, he's just woken up from slumber. That's it. Yeah. You speak of a project that you, uh, workshops that you do. Is yeah. it the Kamuhelo? Is it? Uh, yes. Is, is Kamuhelo it Community Development Center. Yes. And it's run by my wife. It's so. What, what has it achieved so far? And what, what is the purpose of its existence? Well, you see now, because we're dealing with children, you see, the, my, wife, my wife started this with, with the aim of having to sort of help help the community where we grew up because this is in our surroundings. It's, it, it's at a church in Daviton. So, but she specializes in the fact that she wants to, to help the children mm. simply because if, if you have a soup kitchen, then children ah. have got the reason why they should go to school. Because I used to talk to her to tell her that, you know, I remember Lerona, 
You see, Kabo Malibis and all those kinds of soup kitchens. Mm. You used to go to school because you knew that There's you were going to get there. something. Yeah. <laughs> but now if you can't encourage our children, it means there will be no educated children. We have to teach them. So, yeah, we're dealing with that. And it, it was done with the background of Kamu Helo herself, mm. who's autistic. Ah, okay. Yeah, so uh, my wife felt... Listen, Kamuhelo has got the privilege. Mm. You see, she's got the privilege of having a father like yourself and I as the former nurse. Mm. You see, yeah, no, now she she has to help the people like her. She has to help other children yeah. and, and imp, to not, uh, impart the, the knowledge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You see, Does it, do, you, do you see that it, do you see a difference that it's making? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Because a lot of the elderly, I'm telling you, it's it's very painful. A lot of the elderly, as the children come in, there are those that collect food from us. Yeah, they come every afternoon. Every afternoon. I remember before we were even uh, given something by the, 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 the government, I used to go to these shops, you know, shop right. And okay. All to give them the proposal so that I can get. Jeez. I used to get, yeah, yeah. You started from the ground. Oh, oh yes, I, I I had to. Yeah. I had to. I mean, look at him there, he's sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm telling him that you've got to take over the baton. Mm, it's a, uh, it's because, a huge yeah, responsibility. Yeah, you, you, you have to carry on. And, and, I, and then I think he's thinking, ah, come on, it's far-fetched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jeez. yeah, that's, yeah. How long have you been married? I think, I think it's more than, it's even older than him because I think he's 28 now. Yeah. Yeah. So how long has it been? So, yeah. Over. I think it's over, it's it's over 20 if not 30 years. Yes. Yes. That's quite a bit, eh? It, it, it is. Has, have, have you enjoyed the journey of marriage? Yes, it's got its hiccups. Does it still there. have hiccups even now in your, well, in your older years? They are because there are times when we do not understand one another. When <laughs> someone says something, it it is yeah. that's the journey. That's true. Yeah, that's the journey that we have to 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 undertake anyway, because sometimes you do not understand. But why did you say that? <laughs> blah blah blah. Because I feel offended by this, and then says, "Oh, Mratu, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean that. Nani kebulela for." What this and that and that and that. Then you say, "Oh, okay, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. We make." But, but you, ha but you have a. It sounds like you have an open, clear, open communication because Th that's that comes, that seems to be a challenge in a lot of cases. It is, yeah. Now I've I've decided that I wanted to be that kind of a father, having been exposed in the arts, and I could see that it was it had a wide range of openness about it. Then I said, "Why not my family?" Why don't I have independence? Each and every one of you can do as they like, but not at my expense. Wow. <laughs> see, not at my expense because I never did it to my parents. And and did so, did your wife agree to that? To that very big decision that you're putting well, in your family? Well, well, she she puts her foot down. Yeah. Yeah, she puts her foot down at some of the things, but she's very open minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can tell you as he's seated. There. <laughs> yeah. <He can> <laughs> <tell>. <laughs> so yes. who's the softie of the two? Who's the good cop, bad cop? Who's the softie? I think both of us. Yeah. Yeah. I think both of us, but I could be the softer one, but, <laughs> and then my wife castigates me when I have to go outside if I listen to nonsense and then the youngsters making this noise and boom in their cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I go outside and I say, you're disturbing us. Like, for instance, <laughs> I'm still going to court anyway because we're fighting with a, some church. Oh, really? See, yeah. But for the, for the noise? Us. Yes. Is it one of these uh, new age oh, uh, charismatic yes. churches? The charismatic churches. When they bang drums and... <laughs> They're praising the Lord. Uh, yes. And <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, but do it for mm, yourself. Be considerate of, of, no, of yes. others. Yeah. Because now I can't watch TV. My children can't. And then the autistic one runs a mock in the yeah, house. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. That's the and issue. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we're still going back. But but I did win the protection order yeah. a year ago. But now they are taking it further sure. to say no. But it's a church. And I'm saying I understand because I'm a Christian myself. Mm. See? But you see, the thing about, about um, uh, rights yeah. is you have to it's a it's a tricky balance. Yeah, you recognize your right 
to yeah. praising the Lord. Yes. Recognize your right to making noise while praising the Lord. Yeah, yes. However, yes. you have the responsibility of of course of being considerate yeah. of other people. Of course. <laughs> that that it's always a tricky balance. It, it is, yeah. So so this is it and then some other people see you as the devil but others see you as the savior. Yes. So this is the kinds of world that I live in. Sure. I'm fine. And then the other one the other day came right in front of my door because we're living in some sort of an estate it's semi detached housing. Okay. Yeah, so I had to get it because they they said they, they that and that was reserved for Muslims and I I insisted and I mm. said I was born here and I'm going You'll to get, get a house here. I have to. Yeah. It's a matter of must. That's crazy that it's yeah. reserved so, for certain people. You see yes. <laughs> yeah. You see there's a driveway it's mm. these houses here. So a person visits the first house mm. then he wants to take his car with the noise right up until the end near the wall <laughs> in front of my door and then makes a U10. And I say <laughs> die like to keep your noise in your car. Yes, I said die So everybody thinks hey that uncle there. <laughs> his brother go see yeah yeah that top in the we see him in that movie. Yes, yeah, yeah, they yeah, think yeah. you're a difficult neighbor. <laughs> yeah yeah they say yeah the, 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 they don't have seen that in four corners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the top. And then, no, 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 they don't have seen that in four corners. Yeah. They don't have seen that in four corners. Yeah. All those kinds of things. Yeah. Oh, man. I think, I think your career has been incredible. And, yes. and, and it's one of those that we look at as South Africans and we're yes. proud of. Yeah. And do you, do you still feel there's a lot of work from that, that can still come from you? I think given the chance, I really would love to be challenged, like I said before. I would love to be challenged and uh, the one thing that I I think upsets me this is why sometimes I just relax it's because you know you sit down and then you look at everything that is bestowed and then you look at the all the efforts yeah that are given to some artist and then you find people who have done nothing have doctorates yeah well that is very very difficult <laughs> and then you say do you guys hate us so much that with all the credibilities that we have had the credibilities and all the risks that we have run and then we find ourselves in a situation of you having to overlook us because none of my co-actors or anybody that i know has been bestowed doctorates but people no. coming from nowhere just get them i want to tell you and i'll give you this small advice that from a young man you want to get a doctorate be a gospel musician they seem to see, get them a lot easier i must tell you yeah it's, it's, that's amazing you know? <laughs> yeah, they seem to that's get them amazing. a lot quicker it's the easiest in, in maybe musical genre that yes. it's sung in church i mean mm. it's read it's ready it's readily made yeah. you see yes but that's that's the long and the short of it you know that uh, i'm I'm looking at you know elderly internet uh, actors actresses mm, mm. I recall you know people like Bo Braslegs Aslegs Slilo Maredi who spent 30 years you know in Abroad, exile yes yes with uh, about some like survival I remember the likes Zabo Ntwena Zabo Brasol Sol Rachilo mm. one of the highly intellectualized actors you that has yeah. ever come across this country mm. You see that those people have not been considered. It's amazing how much Jeez. you see. And then you find children, yesterday's children and people who just came in through the corners mm. getting these doctorates. And you ask ourselves, <laughs> what do you have to do? What is this? Uh, okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe the doctorate thing is not that important. <laughs> it, it, it's not. Yeah. It, it actually maybe it's is not. not it's not even academical. It is. Us. Maybe it's not that important. Y yeah. Yeah. Because you find every. It, it, Others, but insist that you call them doctors, even if you can tell them that hey, okay, I've, yeah, I've, yeah, I've met one or two. Yes, <laughs> so I could, you want to be referred as a university that recognizes me as a doctor, so I must be a doctor. You say, no, say, no, 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 no. What do you say to that? Yeah. And, and, do you have any Hollywood uh, aspirations? Does it still? Let me ask it differently. Actually, do you yeah. still have aspirations? Well, I still need to to prove beyond doubt, especially to our new dispensation, mm. that if you had missed the chance of seeing what we did, I wish we could repeat them and then ask for your opinions and ask us if we were wrong mm. or right because you don't seem to believe that 
we did things, but you recognized before you we liberated you because we played a, a huge role in that's Nigeria true. Your time that's of incarceration and all that. We were also being harassed, you see, on your behalf, and we did it. I feel that there are things that are reserved, mm. but they still need to come to the fore. Still, uh, my heart was very sore when one sister once mentioned that uh, there's a production that we made. In, I think it was in 1982, if not 83. It's written by Sophocles. Yeah, he's, I think he's, he's French. I think Sophocles is a, is a writer. And then it's called Oedipus Rex. Yeah, I played the role of the Inten Oedipus in that. I played with greats yeah. in that movie. I was playing the lead. I was young. It, I played with Ken Gamble. I played with the late Alfred Nokwe, mm. uh, uh, the late Edin uh, 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 Tlapu, even the Lee Khrutman Ellen Tate, Mabunu Sabela was one mm. of the language advisors okay. because I was doing it in, in Isizulu. Okay. So that movie was never on screen except the time when they were supposed to release it. It played on television in the 80s as two episodes, and that was it. It's still in the archives of, of the SABC CBC now. today. Jeez. That's a gold mine. <laughs> Those love, archives. I would love South Africans to see to that. see that. Eh? Yeah, because when people want to redo movies of that nature without people knowing the originality of the mm. movie, I think there's no competition there. That's but true. They should do it like like overseas when they do more Rambo. Mm. If somebody wants to redo that, you've got to, we know Sylvester Stallone having done it. Yeah. So we'll have to sort of try and see if the internet, they are compatible or not. It'll be great for for SABC to play a lot of that stuff. Oh, you yes. Know, the, the time but is now there. Now it's in the archives and then we don't it understand fair, what, then why is it yeah. there. Yes. And it'll, if it means it'll never, ever be seen again. You see, that's, that's the problem. That's a sad reality. Yeah. Of, and, uh, and, and many people would love to see it because there was an old lady that I met long ago and then she kept on re saying this, saying, hey, mshala peli zulu, mshala. and I looked at her and I, I just wondered what she's talking She says, I spoke about it. And I said, wow. oh. And I said, yeah. And you know, they chose <laughs> The most uh, busiest days of the years that you can come across. They chose Christmas Eve, <laughs> the first episode, <laughs> yes. New Year's Eve. People will never see that because what be easy. Yes. Wow. But they, you know, what breaks my heart is the fact that they wanted to redo it mm. with other people without people having to know the original version. Let's hope that, uh, you know, I, I don't know, uh, maybe the word I'm looking for is there'll be justice. For, for great actors like yourselves, yes, uh, and there'll be there'll be a, a proper honor to celebrate you, yes, uh, to say to you that we recognize what what you've done and what you continue to do, yes, yes, uh, because the saddest reality of our country is we 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 celebrate them once the rest of the world celebrate them, ah, and that's that's a sad reality because yeah. I know you've 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 received an international award. Oh yes, yes. yes. So that means there are other people outside this country that see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing, it's amazing because I remember even when we we're doing the Captain's Tiger with the uh, Athol Fugat, I was with him, with Jennifer Stein. Yeah, uh, it was a three hander. I remember when we played at the Mercator Theatre in Princeton in America and uh, the mayor one day decided mm -hmm. that I would like to bestow this cast with the township of Princeton. Wow. With the, with the awards. I still have that. Imagine says, that. The freedom of the town. Wow. Of Princeton. <laughs> Wait. And then you come to your own country. They can't even give you the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> the freedom of the toilet in Johannesburg. Yes, yes well, well, yeah, he, he, if he comes here, he can use this one <laughs> yeah. see, for the achievements that they've tried to. Yes, wow. a lot of things, man. It's, That's it. it's, yeah. a, it's a sad reality of our country. It, it, it is, yeah. yeah. I think we, what do you think is at the heart of our problem? Because we, we, we seem to be spending a lot of time talking about these things, but yet not, not solving them uh, as, as a government. And let me, let me put my name in there and say we talk, 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 and very little gets done. I think the problem started when we voted. And instead of questioning the legitimacy, you see, 
of how we got our freedom. Uh, people should recognize that too. And then we all slanted one way, mm. you see. And then that was the animosity that was built there. Because first and foremost, we must understand that not only a single party won the liberation. There was Black Consciousness Movement, which resuscitated the struggle. Then they led us in 1976. Then there was Pan-Africanist Congress, yes. which of course did the 1960, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, we chose the one side. Mm. We did not give Didn't the recognize others a chance. That, yeah. yeah. Yet we should have asked ourselves the question that why do we say today Bonke by mm. when we have hardly tried them? True. You see, that's my argument, and it's where I based my facts on that. Why don't we try our history mm. and look at actually, guys, not our ruling party won the Clinton liberation, liberation on its own. On its own. Mm. We participated. These parties, have we tried them to see what their policies are saying, mm. what those policies meant, and how would we receive them if they were done today? Maybe they were the ones that, that had a point, mm -hmm. not these ones that we, we went for. True. You see? Wow. I think that's where everything went wrong. Right from the beginning. Right from the beginning. Is it still repairable? I think if we are strong enough to, to influence people and tell them that it's not a one-party state. We, mm -hmm. Let's remember the history. Let's remember all the fighters. Because they, they were soldiers in both these other parties. That's true. Now, what do we think about them? What do we think about their families? Mm -hmm. What do we think about the mothers of the husbands? You see, mm. because there was one thing that broke my heart one day, uh, David. It was when somebody re uh, uh, revealed something to me and said, you know, there is a family that came from somewhere in tran the Transkai. Yeah, that came, that was a member of uh, Pan-Africanist. Yes. Yes, Pan-Africanist Congress. Uh, that time I was hanged in what you call in Pretoria. He was a member of... Mm, the PAC. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, but the saddest thing was that he was hung with his son at the same time. And three of his son's sons hmm. also at the same time. Members, members of a family, five. Wow. At the same time. That's crazy. Hung. Uh. See? sentenced to death and they were being dealt the same kind of treatment the same day mm. and we have nothing on those people and i felt no this is unjust history has not do documented yes it's it's you not say history is, is is written by the victor if, see, if now yes. we start a fight and yes. i win there's a yes. great chance that I will write the story and I will well, write it about yes. about how I won. Yes. yes. It's it's amazing. It's very it's very tragic because we can only remember one, but we cannot remember that what and uh, had uh, had other people That's who are true. still feeling aggrieved and hard done by the fact that how can South Africans forget us? Yeah. Just like that, we are out of the radar, just out of Yes, because wow. the things have changed. I want to end it here. Yes. It's, it's not a, 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 a happy note. <laughs> I want to end it. No, it should be. It should be <laughs> because that's what we have to work on as a as yeah. a country. Yes, we yeah. have we have to work on that because we find ourselves in a situation where we are being surrounded, but we don't know how we, how we got there to be surrounded by all of us. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I I, I say. To us, we we see you. Yes, uh, we recognize you. Uh, yes. This platform, I've designed it for one purpose. Yes, to uh, to see those that are worth us, worth seeing. Yes, uh, yes, because it's easy to be. Uh, but to bow feet, I know he puts an ah, you know, yes. and that's why I thought let, let let me pause for a second and look at those that are worthy of seeing, yes. and say to you that we recognize your talent. We think you're incredible. We 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 wish we had a, even a drop of what you have, <laughs> you know, and that's all we 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 wish for. And we say thank you for for sharing your talent with us, and we are blessed that you.
you are a South African in the story. In the story of your life, you say, I am a South African. And, yes. and we, we say to you, thank you, thank you, thank you for always being proud to be, to be here. And we appreciate that with your efforts, even now, you still want to make a change yes. uh, amongst young people, the oh, future yeah. of our country. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's Jackie. Thank you, Raila Boha. Lena Raila Boha, Raul has Jackie. O singang. Eita, eiti, eita. He's a star in my world and, and an absolute legend. And I say, may South Africans recognize our legends a lot more. May we see them. Let's bestow them with all the right acc accolades. Let's say to them, Rababona, if we have to turn all of them into doctors, let's do it in one event. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> One day, South Africa is given an honorary doctorate to 40 people. <laughs> yeah. One time. Yeah, one time. Is hot sticks a doctor? Probably not. Is he? Yes. We, we, no. Yeah, never. Yes, it's amazing. Hey, you should make gospel. <laughs> You'll be fine. Sure. No, no way. <laughs> no way. King, King David Studio Podcast.